Hey, Samantha. What's going on? Happy Thursday. How are you? What's up? Welcome back to the stream. My name is Arx underscore Hydra. We're playing more Baldur's Gate 3 today. How has everyone's day been? Thursday is my work from home day, so I was pretty relaxed. My day has been good. Also, it has been very warm here in New York City. Hence, first day of the year with a ridiculous stream t-shirt instead of a ridiculous stream hoodie. I say t-shirt, it's not a t-shirt if it has a collar, is it? Button up, short sleeve. Is there a better, shorter word for that? Whatever. You know what I mean. How's it going? Chaco plays, Aloy, Explodeberry, Romy, Branar, Bradak, Trace, Elliot, good to see everybody. What's up, Batadar? Hey, Hydro. Afternoon, Samantha. Watching you on YouTube and chatting on Twitch, that's an interesting combination. Well, thank you for watching in, in both places. I trust you're doing that for convenience sake. Um, and I'm glad I could offer you that possibility. For anyone who doesn't know, I expect that most everyone does, but anyone who doesn't, I am simulcasting. On YouTube and Twitch, please feel free to watch on whichever platform is most convenient for you any given time. I love you both equally. I'm not sure each Samantha loves the other equally, but I just think of you as one big Samantha. It's a day, Thursday, I think. You're right. Hello all, we say shirt in the UK. So by default, if someone says, I need to go get a shirt, you imagine a short sleeve button up or, or a button up and maybe they say short sleeve. Heck yeah, raccoon beer, hell yes. What is he on? Oh, he's on, he's on a chicken sandwich. He's standing on a chicken sandwich, it looks like. Yeah. With beer shooting rainbows out of his eyes. He's had a good Thursday. Hawaiian pizza shirt without the pineapple. Just noticed a new battery with a flower. New battery? A Baxter, oh Baxter, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, once again done by my friend Skullboy, Moss, who's done all the others. Apart from the emotes, who's done all the ones for this background as well as the space behind it. This is our spring Baxter. I've been trying to figure out if I should just put them on cycle or if I should, um, if I should reuse the seasonal ones because in future years, like I, I, have, I have lots of other ideas that if he's got time, I would love to get from him. So if even if we don't have like a new cycle of the seasons worth of Baxters uh, each year, I still think I've got plenty of ideas. We'll get lots of new Baxters. So, so that doesn't make a difference. I'm trying to decide which way I want to go with getting new Baxters. I don't know. I don't know. We left off on quite a good cliffhanger. I have made a decision about that cliffhanger, though I will wait to address that until we start the game. Um, it's not nearly as big a decision as the last time I told you. <laughs> we had to have a discussion. But I have figured out what I think I want to do, and I'm just going to deal with everyone's feelings about it. Lies, Twitch Samantha is better, smarter, and cuter. See, I'm just reading out a message there, YouTube Samantha. I love you all equally. What's up, Lauren? Rose, good to see you. Three days of Baldur's Gate 3? That's right, Elliot. In fact, the plan, this is not an absolute promise. If my mood changes or something surprises me I want to play, it may jump in. But the plan is to play Baldur's Gate until Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Now, Dragon's Dogma 2, actually, I just looked at my wrist. I'm wearing my kiddie pool full of ducklings. It's a little see-through because it's yellow, which is close to green. Not, not a watch. That doesn't help me at all. Luckily, my phone is here as well. And I just looked at the time, not the date, which is what I needed. 14th? Yeah, we are one week away. Today, we are one week away from Dragon's Dogma 2 coming out. The goal was to see if, given I finished up the first playthrough of Armored Core 6, I could just as neatly finish up the first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 and then hop on to Dragon's Dogma 2 for at least a stream or two and see how I feel about it. And then make a decision as to whether I finish Dragon's Dogma 2 or... I go back and do New Game Plus for Armored Core then and, you know, make a decision at that point. The way it's going, especially with streams like yesterday, is I don't think I'm finishing Baldur's Gate 3 by the time Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. So now the plan is to play Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out this uh, a week from today, but only give it a stream or two and then come back and finish this game if I haven't at that point. To make sure there isn't like a massive break from it and then once it's finished 
if I plan to go back to Dragon's Dogma 2 at that point. Makes sense? But I really want to play Dragon's Dogma 2 the day it comes out. I'm, I'm a little bit excited for it because I didn't really enjoy the first one. And the second, what I've read about it, there's a good chance I will. And I love seeing a turnaround like that. I'm very, very interested in playing it. We'll see how I feel. We'll see. It's an interesting watch color. Very different. Twitch Samantha, thems are fighting words. Hold me back, Hydro. Uh, YouTube equals TV, Twitch equals phone. Didn't want to miss the chat. T-shirt of no buttons, shirt if buttons. Could refer to short or long sleeve too, fair enough. That makes sense as a system. You know, you don't have to clarify often with that. What's up, Caroline? Good to see you. Happy Thursday. Love us all equally until we gang up on you. No, no, no. Then I love you all equally as well. The love just, it, it's a lower. The love lowers a lot. It's still all equal. This is why we need to unionize Samantha. It's the best watch in the world. What's up, our Stephanie? Happy Thursday. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good one. Yeah, I saw like... I can't remember if a friend linked this to me or if I saw like an Instagram ad for it or something, but it was from a small company. I think parts of this are 3D printed and parts of it they like made by hand and and they probably just bought the watch band. Anyway, you know, it's a little thing put together by a few people um, called Watches That Don't Tell Time. And a couple times I've gone back to look while thinking of like gift ideas or something um because they did a whole variety this is sort of the plain jane one but i really love it they did them with you know sparkling ducks and metallic well, sands, uh, hello really have a good time snake man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps collared shirts mean business business, business means productivity. productivity productivity means money money so collared shirts means you're making money yeah ah uh, whatever is that the way I'm it works just here for the comedy what's the connotation of colored comedy uh, the connotation of colored comedy is... <laughs> I once went to an open mic after my uh, regular work day. It was like, so I moved to the city to do stand-up, and for a little while I was just living off of savings and the odd gig job while doing stand-up every night. And uh, the first time I got like a, a, a sort of like ongoing gig, I was a temp, but they were just like, you'll be here for a few months at least. We'll see what happens after that. So I got myself some office clothes. The first time I had a job like that, I went from it to an open mic on like my first or second day at that job. And I went in my work clothes. And one of the first jokes I told did not go well. And someone from the audience went, Oh no, I remember. I, I pecked a little bit, which was a bad idea anyway, because I didn't know the guy. It was very gentle ribbing, but just not a good idea because I didn't know the guy. I picked a little bit on a joke someone who went before me had made. Um, and it didn't go down well. Just no one laughed. They weren't mean. They weren't like, fuck you. But they just silence. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Uh, and in that hesitation moment where I was like, oh, what was I going to say next? One person went... He's not laughing because you look like the guy that fired him. And that got a bigger laugh than anything I said that night. And it wasn't even really a joke about me, necessarily. It was sort of half one. It was half at that guy's expense. But I brought a change of clothes before going out to do stand-up every other time I went. So collared shirts and comedy mean you're at risk, in my limited experience. What was I saying a second ago? I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, watches that don't tell time. But I've looked them up since and they're just gone. They're just gone. So I too believe this is one of the greatest pieces of wristwear I own and I'm so glad to have it because I'm not sure there's anyone making these anymore. Just gonna throw out, if you're considering ethics, no one, besides the Starian fans, would give you grief for trying what's next multiple times in a first playthrough. You started a game called Breath of Fire today. I saw you played Breath of Fire 1, the SNES version, right? How are you enjoying it so far? Some Samanthas are more equal than others. Was a long John. 100% retry this next area. Restart. I support this. I'll also never let you forget you didn't redo a Starian. Won't matter either way. God, I love that. Get the notepad. Did this in honor mode and you still can't believe how damn lucky you were that it succeeded. Glad I could derail a story with a story. Starting honor mode attempt two with a dirge ranger. Your Minsk has inspired me. I hope you enjoy. I'm pretty impressed with what you can do with this or that ranger, especially with some multi-classing. I played one in tabletop and I had a good time, but we had to slightly home roll my ranger because at the time they, they just weren't great in 5e. And I didn't fall in love with the class even with some home rolls. So I had fun. 
Minsk has been a slight revelation for me as well. The audience getting a bigger laugh is a new unlocked fear. Beat it before, you love the classics. Thought that's what that was, you love those watches. What's up, Zach? Good to see you. What's up, Ryan? Project Watches also has great stuff. You have a few watches from them? Nice! There's some really cool ones from, I think it's Mr. Jones watches as well, though it's the kind of site that makes them in small batches, so you have to go back and check periodically. They've got a system where a lot of them use clear discs with just one part that they've printed on. Um, and so the disc runs all the way to the edge. You can't see the disc. It's very clean. It's clear. You look right through it. You can only see the part moving. And so one of them, for instance, has a UFO at the center and the hour is a cow that goes very slowly around it. The entire thing turns with just the cow moving. The rest of it is clear. I've explained that too many times now. You get the point. The other clear disc for the minutes is a tractor beam that's transparent pink coming out from the UFO going around trying to get the cow. They have a lot like that. They also have ones that are less absurd, but they're all weird and fun. I love watches, and I do love some traditional watches, but there's some really weird, wacky ones as well that are just a fucking delight. Let's play some Guess the Game. This is how we warm up for each stream. It gets me used to being in front of the lights, on camera, talking into a microphone, after I spent most of the day probably silent, whether I was in the office or not, just probably silent. Our only extra rules, if you instantly recognize this, if you're at your keyboard like, no, I fucking know, right now, hold up. Just be very smug instead. Just go, I know this one. I know this, but don't tell us what it is. Because we want other people to throw out guesses, extend the game a little bit, get more people involved. But you are welcome to be smug, like I said, and I will come back to you if we get to image six and I don't yet know what it is. We, we haven't figured it out because I don't want to lose our streak. Not sure what you saw, Hydro, but you found their link. They look well and thriving. Oh, good. Wonderful. Okay, maybe they were just like between websites when I went to look for them or something. All right, awesome. Something on SNES probably. I could believe that, but I have a different idea. I, I think this is a PC game, if I'm right, but my confidence is only like 48%. Anyone else? Hey Hydro, when was the last time you jumped? Uh, probably yesterday. There are fucking lakes at the corners of intersections here in New York City and many places, and it had just been raining. I jumped yesterday. Worms? Does worms have fog of war? That looks like fog of war to me. Looks like GameCube texturing. Didn't you have or see a watch that the hands just floated around? You couldn't actually tell time with it ever? Um, I've definitely seen watches made where you can't tell the time from them. They're more of a statement piece. I'm, I, I can't bring to mind what specific one I might have shared on stream. It's very likely I, I talked about or showed one of those or someone's linked one at some point, though. Yeah, but I, f I forget the specific one. Cyber secure, Cyberpunk on launch day. You agree with Braddock about Worms? Wasn't Worms PS2? Rimworld? Or was there an older one? PS1? Your favorite that you have is a skeleton and his two arms point to the time and his beating heart is the second hand? That's delightful. I like that. His beating heart is the second hand, so does the little heart like spin, or is the heart at the end of like an arm? Has it been speared and he's trying to reach out and grab it or something? That sounds nice. I'll try worms. I'll try worms. Worms. Okay, I am growing in confidence. I'm gonna say I'm now 65% confident in my guess. I think this is actually wait, wait, I said PC earlier. I'm not changing my guess, but I just remembered, I think it came out on PlayStation 1 as well. I th think. I feel like it came out on, on a, a console, which surprised me because it was a very bad idea to bring it to a console. Maybe I'm confusing it with another game made by the same people though. Thoughts, thoughts, the heart spins. Okay, I didn't want to express a preference until I heard it. But that was what I was hoping. That sounds nice. <laughs> I like that. Why is that so familiar? If I'm right, this is an absolute classic. C and C. Original Command and Conquer. No? But I think it's the same genre. You recognize it now? Thoughts? I'm like... 88% confident now. Higher. Fuck it. I'm, I'm 90. 
Six percent confident. FIFA 2021. Stagecraft. Imagine if Blizzard had made Warcraft, Starcraft, and Stagecraft. We are at a battle of the bands and you have to fight behind the scenes to make sure no one sabotages your equipment and you sabotage theirs. You have to destroy their base, aka the corner of the backstage area they've been allowed to put their limited resources as a tiny little band trying to make it. You have to attack their base while you set your things up for your turn on the stage. Starcraft, I mean, sorry. Warcraft 2. I think it's Warcraft, and I think it's Warcraft 2, just because I believe we had Warcraft 1 already. But I'm actually not totally certain which Warcraft. I think it's Warcraft 2. Hey! I had that from Image 1. I can't prove it, because I didn't say it, but I know in my head that I was, what did I say, like 46% confident that I had it at Image 1. Good shit. The answer is Warcraft 2 game that boldly let you select nine units I think yeah look at that space over there when it fills up three by three you can't select anything more you can move nine things at a time that's it and that was a massive improvement over Warcraft 1 where you could select four and you had to move armies and wage battle Wild stuff. Let's do a couple past days. Play previous days. Imagine being an RTS player back then. Good God. Day 585. Samantha, what is this? Those have an interesting style to them. And this line of dots here. Are these cell shaded and this is like a weird graphical thing? Where two clouds are intersecting? What's going on here? Um, I, I have no immediate idea. I, I can't even guess the generation this game might be from because it's obviously pixelated, but like I just asked, I, I wouldn't be shocked if it was something weird and cell shaded or otherwise highly stylized and this was some sort of graphical anomaly due to that. I've, I'm thrown. Thoughts? The Simpsons Arcade, Simpsons, Dragon Ball Z, Clouds, the game. If it's cell shaded, you know your guess. Aladdin, we've had two guesses for Simpsons. Let's try the Simpsons, not Simpsoms. The Simpsons, um, I don't know the name of the arcade game. Bart's Nightmare was in the arcades, wasn't it? I don't think it's Simpsons because presumably all Simpsons games would be considered part of the same franchise and we didn't get the franchise notification. First guess isn't yellow. So I may have had it wrong when I guessed Bart's Nightmare from what you were thinking, but I don't think it's any Simpsons. What is this? Oh, it's a Firefell. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Aladdin? Uh, I can believe Aladdin. Where would this be in Aladdin? There are caves in Aladdin for that rocky background, but I'm not as sure about what that metal plate would be. Or maybe it's wood, but it just looks gray to me. I just noticed a Metacritic score 93%. This is a beloved game. This is an award-winning game, most likely. What is this? Caves of Wonder, but I think it's usually more blue-purple. Zelda something. Maybe a Shantae game. I can believe that. An old Prince of Persia. I think a Prince of Persia would be so old it wouldn't have a Metacritic score. Unless it got, like, a re-release and got a Metacritic score then. Um... Why might I went to Cave Story? But Cave Story has simpler graphics than this, right? Right? Doesn't it? Looks like a platformer. It looks like a platformer to me. Let's try a Shantae game. I need to see another image. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. It's not a Shantae game. I'm starting to feel better about the guess I made a minute ago. Because I think I remember these enemies. Are they cute? They are. I remember them be kind of being little shits, but they are cute. True. Metroid, maybe? Does anyone else on board with my guess or happen to remember what I said? Dwarf Fortress? Streamer knows? I think I do know. I think I know. Let's try an old Metroid real quick. Metroid Fusion. Adventure? Indie? Platformer? This, I remember, I, I, so I played it years after, if I'm right, 
first of all, assuming I'm right, if it's the game I'm thinking of, I played it years after it's like fame, but this is, I believe, one of the earliest indie games I remember being like a pretty massive hit. These days, I mean, if it came out now, hopefully it would be even bigger, but given how much gaming in general has grown, how many more gamers there are, I bet if you looked up its numbers, it was not really a big deal by today's standards, but I remember this being a massive deal. I heard so much about it, and then years later, I was like, well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll play it. I love him. Can we keep the frog? Braid, Castlevania. Let me try my guess out. I think this is Cave Story. It's Cave Story. Cave Story is a very fun game. It is um, slightly Metroidvania in its style. What I mainly remember about it is there's a variety of like weapons and upgrades to get for those weapons. Almost Contra style, but it still somehow feels way more platformer than like a running gun like Contra. And I think what helps that feeling is that many of the guns affect your jumping. And so you get preference at times between like the shotgun, which is like a double jump because you blast one big shot below you and you go flying up higher. Or you can like hover with some of the SMGs and cross gaps that way. It's very fun. Very fun. Top of it today. I'm having a good day. I haven't had a day like this in a while. Originally released in 2005, same year YouTube came out. That's weird, isn't it? I always feel like YouTube's been around longer than that. And again, I'm, I'm aware 2005 is, I won't say how many years, but quite a while back now. I am aware. I just do feel like YouTube's even older than that. Hmm. Deserving of its 93. I don't want to play that again someday. What's up, KFC? So cool. Don't call us old. What's up, Fair Kai? Good to see you. Let's do one more previous day. Going to Puzzle 586. Samantha, what game is this? So this is exceptionally familiar. Um, this is really familiar. This is, this is, I feel like it's slipping away from me. I had that feeling like it was going to come to mind in a second, and I feel like I'm getting further from it. It literally looks less familiar the longer I look at it, but it still feels familiar. What is this? Top-down game? I think this is a side-scrolling game. It might just be like, you know, a third-person action. It might be top-down. I think this might be a weird 3D side-scrolling game. It feels, it feels like a stealth action game, like fucking... Sort of like a side-scrolling Metal Gear Solid. I can't bring a single game to mind. I'm probably way off base here. Bionic Commando Rearmed. Now that's the kind of game I was thinking it could be. That's, well, I mean, that's not very stealth, but like, I could believe that. Please let it be that so that I don't sound so stupid for what I said. They don't have Rearmed. We're just saying Bionic Commando. It's not Bionic Commando. But thank you for being there with me on a side-scrolling game. Well, anybody else? Thoughts? Metacritic score 64% and we have another camera angle that looks way less side scrolly. I think I'm wrong. Hey, what's up, Starfish? Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. I am lost. Don't listen to me. No worries. Duke Nukem. Which Duke Nukem? The original didn't look like this. Duke Nukem Forever? Which one was on the N64? Because this has a 64% Metacritic score, and I'm pretty certain every N64 game and only N64 games have Metacritic scores of 64%, right? Correct? True? What really, I mean, it sucks for them, especially if you worked very hard, that you have to have a 64% in your N64 game. And it's especially unfair considering how many Xbox 360 games were given 360% approval. That's absurd. It doesn't even make sense. I don't think I don't think Metacritic should do that anymore as a system. Manhattan Project. You have, I have faith in you guys. Thank you, Firefell. X Squad with Duke Nukem 2.5D game work. At this resolution, I think it's a true 3D game, but I'm I'm uncertain. Let's try Manhattan Project. Duke Nukem Manhattan Project is what we're going for. Wait, were those two different guesses? I don't know the Duke Nukem series very well, so I assumed that was a subtitle to one. Prop Hunt? Does Prop Hunt look like this? Prop Hunt started on like, Gary's mod, didn't it? Half-Life 2 looks better than this. <laughs> right? Why the hell did they decide Xbox One was a good idea after all the success of the 360? 
I don't know. And then to have the gall to keep telling everyone, it's not the X-Bone, it is. It is. You're gonna get news outlets to not type X-Bone often because they're gonna want a relationship with you to continue getting some things. By the way, that is not a slight on games journalism. I actually love games journalism. But like, they don't want to have an antagonistic relationship with you. Everyone else is calling it the X-Bone. What the fuck do you mean it's not the X-Bone? You're sticking with X-Squad? I'll try X-Squad. X-Squad. It is. What is that? X-Squad is a third-person tactical shooter developed by EA Games, released in 2000. The story revolves around Ash, leader of the X-Squad. Is this based on XCOM? Third-person shooter. You turn into water. I think they're just see-through so that you can see the action more easily. Wow. Art Simpson, special agent. This, um, this, uh, this doesn't look good. That doesn't mean it's not still fun or have value, but this really doesn't look good. <laughs> There's a reason I never heard of it. It was bad from memory. Samantha, another three up, three down. We are faultless. 610 played, 610 won, 100% win rate. So, such a super majority of them in the first three guesses. Grandmaster guesser. Grandmaster. All right, let's get to Baldur's Gate 3. Good shit. Well done, team. Okay, where, uh, it's, um... No, no, my fingers are doing it. They remember, even if I don't. You'd think I'd remember how to start whatever I'm playing as soon as, like, it's time. But my problem is that uh, uh, sometimes it's different scenes and setups. And so my memory doesn't even start to try to remember. It doesn't even make an attempt. So proud of you all. Just here for moral support. Go team. That helps. Good to have you here. Can we look into Duke Nukem Land of Babes now? No, I think I'm good. All right, so last time I did a couple little joke things like cast seeming so the whole party looks silly. And then I went down to the Iron Throne to see if it was similar to the assumption I'd accidentally made about fights in the Steel Watch Foundry. You can start them without immediately dooming everyone. You then need to finish them quickly. Quickly. Or, you know, manage this and that. And it was, we went inside and it started and now we were there, but we have to like manage the time. Here's the thing though. I am in fact going to reload and do the day correctly because um, if I end up needing long strider or something else I forgot like that feast spell, I, I can't, I'm gonna feel so bad just as a performer for having another stream like yesterday's where it took me forever to do one fucking thing. We're loading. Where are we loading? Where is just before? Where is a little longer than just before? This is just before I think I spent any resources, and if I did, they were probably just like a, a, a cast of greater invisibility. We'll be fine. How are the cats? They're very good. I got a package today with a bunch of that just like roll of brown paper they sometimes use inside packages for stuffing. Um, so they're having a ball without out on the carpet in the living room. Reloading on your first blind playthrough uh, for this is 100% fine. Didn't you get into an underwater boat? I did, and I went to an underwater prison. And now they're letting the water into that prison. I'm pretty sure that's what Gortash did. And why we have, like, a time limit when we get down there. Um, did I actually change my prepared wizard spell? Uh, I did, but only after saving. So we still have globe and vulnerability in case that will help me. I need, I have detect thoughts on, I doubt this will matter, but speak with animals is free to have on, so let's have that on. Let me switch your two positions. Minsk, you need a long strider, everybody. Because it's a ritual and lasts until long rest, which is broken as fuck. It should just give me a cast all button. What else am I going to do with this spell? When would anyone not, right? Okay, everyone have it? Long Strider, Long Strider, yep. I don't think you have anything else you need to cast at the start of each day. You know what's funny? I've never cast Hunter's Mark. Things die so fast that I've just never done it. I use his bonus action for other things usually. 
Anyway, um, you need to cast that feast at the very least. I think that's the only thing you cast each long rest. Heroes feast. Beautiful. Send these supplies back to camp. Awesome. All right, another quick save now that we're all set. Cast at higher level. Cast what? A hunter's mark or a long strider? So, we're gonna go down there. Gortash is gonna get mad. And then we're on the timer. And, um, that's all I know. I don't know what we're doing down there apart from trying to save people. So let's go save people. Hopefully, <laughs> let's go save people. Long Strider, still ritual, affects more people. Oh. That makes sense. What is the other one? Feast something? Yeah, I uh, I can check the name of the spell in a sec if you want, but it's I think it's got feast in it. It's two words. Huge feast! You have analysis paralysis because you're afraid to not kill more party members? You gotta just let it go? It's true, I do need to slightly. What's more, actually... It's almost a little more complex than that, but you're about right. I warned you to stay away once. I don't do second warnings. No worries, I do second tries, it turns out. <laughs> Let's go! Heroes Feast, thank you, Varnathan. Happy Thursday, good to see you. Sure, a huge feast works better. Has he been to that house? Probably. I went on Baldur's Gate Zillow and I at least saw them all. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm not sure. What's up, Rigel? Happy Thursday. Alright. We're good to go. Timer doesn't start until we get down there. But, um, let's go. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing else I want to do. Why am I still talking? Because I'm nervous. <laughs> Hold. Cold, suckering wetness grasps at your mind. A voice familiar to you from the underdark wraps itself around your brain. You must act with haste. Duke Raven Guard is held within these walls. Do you think $75 seems fair to fix a puncture e-bike 26 by 4 tire inner tube? Um, completely off the top of my head, yes I do. I have no experience with e-bikes, with fixing punctures in any tire, uh, even with hearing from a friend how much they cost. So my opinion means literally nothing, but it, just out of the blue, hearing that number, yeah. But I want to free the Gauntian hostages, Ameluum. It is painful to say, but they cannot be your priority. Duke Ravenguard must be saved. The city needs him. You would let innocents die? Shame on you. I will save everyone. Just tell me how. Ah, come on, man. Roll again. Ah. Good shit. Something about that was familiar. Did the rolls go exactly that way last stream? Is this game deterministic in some level? I was only trying to secure this city's future, but you are correct. If we can. We should save the hostages too. Duke Ravenguard is held in the security wing. The hostages are placed throughout this prison. You must stretch your resources thin if you want to secure them all. So I'm foreseeing two groups of two or everyone hostages. splitting up? This structure Maybe is two one and one? Act with speed. Maybe I should see it Act first? With efficiency. I'm definitely still nervous tonight. What's up, Shoujo? Happy Thursday, good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friendo. All right. Okay. Who are you? Oh, Obelia Tubin. I know your husband. He's not very pleased with me. I'm not getting books. I'm not getting books. Maybe on the way out, but not right now. Can I go down and see what's down there? Obelia, help me down here. Thank you. Fucking... Oh my word. Oh my word. What in the f Somehow yesterday I got the idea that it was just like two tunnels. Uh, 
Gandhian hostage. Duke Raven guard. Gandhian hostage. 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 Omeluum is down there. That's why he was able to contact me. I assumed he was still in the Underdark. Gandhian hostage. Gandhian hostage. All right. Okay. This is a pain in six turns. Let's assume we can only get to the end of a, a, a place and back with the time we have. What would that mean we have to do? Um, we have three places to go. It would take three turns there, three turns back. So one, two, three. If there's any enemies, what the fuck do I do? Well, that means we need to be in three groups because there's three directions and you're still a fucking issue. Maybe we need teams of four. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Minsk, come on down and let's see what's up. We just joined the battle. That's a hogan. Okay. Um... I don't need to go north. That's the only direction I don't need. You don't have a fuck ton of health. So, maybe I start working on you? Maybe? Um... But I could use my action to dash. Right now you're getting this far. Shit, man. Shit, man. Shit. Okay. Let's send Karlak first because of her health. Find a route. She's going to give us an idea of how this works. She also goes incredibly far, which is nice. You know what would have been amazing at this? Starion. He could dash three times every turn. Provokes attack of opportunity. I mean, what are their odds to hit, though? Come on. Let's use our jump early to avoid... Um, to avoid getting in trouble. Got it. This surpasses... Surpasses? This passes by his... Um, whatever it's called. Let's wait for you to walk to a more favorable location. Now let's fucking go. And of course they're locked. Scrying eyes. Wooden trunk. Double glass house doors. A lamp. Giant reactor making annoying noise. Okay. This doesn't seem like it's really going to work out. I wonder if there's a way to buy more time. Sure doesn't look like there's anything here to buy more time. I can't go any further that way. Oh, because I still have um Karlak selected. So the camera's centered on her. With Minsk selected, I can look a little further this way. No, nothing obvious there. One more check in this direction. Um, those guys have rolled in before me, have they? Am I allowed to take my turn now or not? Is it an action to talk? Not enough movement. Target is too far. Where's too far? It's 
Does it get me close enough to talk? Did I only have three meters left? What's happening? A glimpse of freedom. Escaping certain death, the character is motivated to move quicker. That's good. Okay, so sh she's already on the way to escape. I don't need to worry about her. I've used all my movement, though. That's my turn. I haven't used my action, actually. I can dash. I have a better idea, though. Haste on you. Because you have better movement. I wish I cast on Karlak, but that ship has sailed. Haste on you, I believe. Does this change at all? Doesn't grant any additional benefits, okay? My power. You're hastened, bud. That's all I can do for you. That's all I can do for the team. And turn. Long strider still ritual, affects more people. I read that message. You had the party limit mod on too, tried three times and you still couldn't save everyone? Oh, I wish I hadn't let read that message. <laughs> so you have an extra action every turn. Can you kill this guy in one go, please? Please? Because I want you to go in here as well. And you may need an action to talk to this person, I'm not yet sure. Damn, dude. This is still only one action, I believe. So we still have an action. What happens if I hit this lever? Now, how are you doing? Okay, they're gonna go immediately. Good, good, good. They're, they're good, they're gone, they're done. Now what? Which direction should, should Minsk go? You can probably kill a lot of them. I can probably kill a lot of them. I think Minsk should go the last direction, weirdly. I think he should. I think he should. Oh yeah, you could have just done this. Wow, I really fucked up. Okay, let's just go quickly through this attempt then, because we're going to be trying again. I am almost certain. He has his own haste, and I'm stupid. Let's go quickly through this. Come pull this one. Dash to pull that one. Do you need your action to pull that one? I don't think you do. Alright, you still have your bonus. Can you spend your bonus to get by this guy's, uh... This guy's, uh... It doesn't seem you can. Oh, wait, maybe. This guy's attack of opportunity. And you probably don't have almost anything left. All right, you're out. Do you guys have anything weird I should be worried about? Net! Fuck off! Why aren't you showing me Karlak? Why are... I can't read what her fucking status is for some reason. What is going on with the characters? Now Minsk is being hit and I'm not seeing it. Hey, what's up, Riley? Happy Thursday, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Camera did this for me too. Okay, maybe there's some extra weirdness between the floors here. No worries. They rolled 20. Go ahead and shield. Absolutely, please shield. Okay, Shadowheart. Have to keep going. Come on down. I need you. This one's already going, right? Yeah. I need you to likely assist me or Minsk. I'm going to spend some crazy spell slots, so let's assume you need to assist Minsk. Uh, if you go as far as you... Do you know haste out of curiosity? Could I have taught you haste? I wonder if I could have. Huh, no worries. No worries. She has freedom of movement, I noticed. That's good to know. Um, Come this way. These enemies are beyond your attack range, which I'm not even sure would be a smart idea, right? Yeah. Dash. 
Now what can you do with your bonus action? Because your bonus actions are usually more useful than other people's. Divine favor, sanctuary, cannot be targeted. Cannot be targeted, cannot be targeted. So he doesn't need to worry about attacks of opportunity now, right? Right? Do I have to protect the Gondians on their way out? If they have to run by Saho, so far, them, Go. fish? Excited to replay this game. Remembers you have to do that part again. We don't have to. You have to for at least one more of your playthroughs because you want to romance Will. Yes, you have to. He gets so depressed he won't fuck if you fail at this. That's sad. Makes sense. Dude, imagine having the time to like loot some of this stuff. Imagine. So let's go try out our brand new special We Are All Hasted and Sanctuary skills. <laughs> For just a second, I thought he was going to join in the initiative on the other side of combat. <laughs> Probably do need to kill these things. For them. Probably. Am I able to do that? Too weak to lightning? No resistances, no vulnerabilities at all. Um... Minsk, are you the person in the area to do the second job? No, that is Karlak or me will be the ones who can try and circle around to get Omeluum after they finish their job. Hopefully. So you don't need to circle around. You can, you can, how many turns left have I got? Yeah, you, you can take some attacks. Let's try it. Let's try it. Lightning arrow. Damn, it's only gonna hit... Damn. It's still way more damage than normal, right? I can't stealth? Yeah, worth it. Well, actually, it's compared to using... It's compared to using two attacks. Let's brace instead. I'll spend some movement to brace and get better damage. Then let's shoot some guys. Shoot some guys with special arrows, that was sad. You're a humanoid, you're a humanoid, you're a humanoid. Nothing really to be gathered there. You're a humanoid. You got guiding bolts on you though, that's pretty sweet. Sneak attack. Sneak attack with. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, fucking fire. Just for the bonus damage. It didn't kill you. That sucks. I need to do two fires. Whatever. Let's hit that. Let's. Let's, let's, let's. Get out more special arrows. Get guiding bolts. The fuck just happened? No, no, no. The explosion hit the lever! Oh, and I can only double attack once per turn? Or was that my fourth attack? The explosion hit the lever. Ooh. Uh oh. They go after Shadowheart, don't they? I don't know. I don't fucking know. That just went poorly. Alright, Karlak, you need to find some levers in here. Are you netted, first of all? You resisted all of that? I will kiss you from head to toe for resisting those nets if we make it out of this acceptably alive. You are incredible. You are incredible. Easy. We're prioritizing releasing Gondians, even if I'm not sure whether that's safe. 
We are prioritizing releasing Gondians. Jesus Christ, you can go far. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Okay, well, I think you're going after Omeluum. How much health do they have? 18. Hmm. Maybe I should have killed these first. I think I'm going after Omeluum. I think you need to be ready to try and protect these people. But I don't know how to do it. Also, there's no lever here. It's on the other side. All right, let me think about that. Come over here for now. I, I think I fucked up your turn. No worries. Seven damage, 14. Don't attack the same target. That's it, come after me. Perfect. All right. You're attacking the door. Did you guys come in with the water or were you the hired guards? Because they didn't teach you to use the doors? Seems weird. Um, let's take our normal, let's take uh, our normal move. To find a way forward. I don't see anyone here. Let's take our misty step. Is that someone I can free? Not enough space, not enough movement. Not enough space, not enough movement, not enough space, not enough movement. Why do you tell me I can do that there then? Fine, I'll go here. I have the way here open to a Meluum, but it looks difficult. That's interesting. Um, hmm, I can shoot these levers, can't I? That doesn't help me right now, but good to remember. This turn, dash, hit the lever. Come over here, and I'll help them next turn, and turn. Shadowheart, you need to hit the lever and let them out. I'm so glad that's completely free action. Now, Shadowheart, I guess it just would be nice if you helped kill this thing. I don't think you can, but if you could try. You do your best. Gondi's over Will's dad? Oh, I'm trying to get all of them. I'm trying to get everybody. You're still burning? You're going to die. You're the one at real risk. All right, don't use fire arrows next time. If I have to reroll this, which I... I'm in control of you? Did they take the tadpole out of your head? Um... Shit, dude. I mean, you just need to leave. You have just got to leave. How far can you jump? What? I've never been less happy to see her, and that's saying something. I was hoping you'd bound along. A bargain's a bargain, and I've come to see it through. Mia Furia. Kneel for me. If only Will were here to see this. This is what he wanted, after all. Okay, that's now, overstating it, you know it. And enjoy the show. Can I attack her? Is this just gonna happen? What, what goes on now? What the fuck was that? I don't even care about them. Combustion belly spiderling. And they get to go now. Ah. Helping takes a full action, right? 
Fiendish obeisance kneel. Tell me exactly how that works. Affected entity has been compelled to kneel by a fiend. Cannot move or take actions, bonus actions, or reactions. Disadvantage on strength and dex throws. Attacks against it have advantage if they're made within three meters. The entity must spend half its movement speed to stand up. It counts as prone and unconscious. Why aren't you lit up when I do that? We were lit up for a second. This so looks like he's caught in it, but the thing tells me he's not, but all the spiders are. Has to be player characters, right? The game told me that wouldn't happen. I, I did say I was pretty sure that would happen. The game and I have disagreed about that before, and it's... I'm not sorry that I just chose trust. The game lies. It does. Distance is very hard to calculate in this game, behind the scenes, it seems. Like, I'm not going to blame the game. But, um... Yeah, it fucking lies. It lies. That or it marked the two combustion, the dead ones. Do they like explode after death or something? No, I think it was just him getting hit by that. Um, shit. All right, let me take a little bit of a, let me take a turn or two to see what happens around Ameluum's direction and then we'll, we'll restart and try again. Because fuck! This guy's got 14 health, just shoot this dude. Just shoot this motherfucker. And then come this way. Who says smite? That means I must hit you very hard, I think. Okay. These ones are all past the problematic sort of stage, but these guys are gonna go next, so we should kill them. You have all in turned on to make sure you can kill them, right? Yeah. So kill this guy. Does this one also go before they run away? Looks like they do. Let's go see if we can get some some damage on them. Yes. And they're dead. So Carlac can easily handle one of these herself. Never doubted her. Love her with all my heart. Easily handle one. We're learning so much, though. I wish you could revivify NPCs. To be fair, be a whole new game inside an already huge game. Your soul was sold to a devil in a bargain. Uh, and you have to constantly escape her. Oh, if events like that happened all the time. Now loading and try to save the Duke. I am, but I am first going to play this out and see what sort of happens. Get get an idea of how this works. Uh, okay, I'm going to unrestrain you. I'm going to figure out how to kill the two of you. 38, 38, and you're wet. So wet means you take, you're vulnerable to lightning. Yep. Prevented from burning, resistant to fire, vulnerable to lightning and cold. Ideal. I'm going to quicken. Um, call lightning. That's 3 to 30. Vulnerable means doubled? Let me make sure I know what that is this time. I took a guess last time. Yeah. Vulnerable means doubled. So I want something with a high chance of killing them, and it needs to make at least 19 to kill them. This is like 50-50... Uh, let's go up to level 5. Did one of them only take 20? Oh, because he made a save. Of course he only took 20. Alright, they can survive one of them. I'm gonna go see what the... What the... the what, uh, what happens when you try and go this way? Are you stopped? Is it difficult terrain? No. Despite the flow of water, it's just for looks. You can, you can just go. Okay. Good. You can go right into the waiting Sahuagin. Ha Samantha, how do you pronounce them? Does anyone know what they're actually called? There's no enemies back there that probably won't die to spikes. So we can just go. Um, in fact, I think you can dash. With no issues. 
And you should come my direction, maybe? I mean, there's nothing else to do in the other direction, so yeah, you should come my direction. There's a Gondia dead. <laughs> Only one! There's the Gondian and Raven Guard dead, though. volatile blood do. Alright. Whatever. We're not resetting for Will's dad for the third time? Yes, we are. I'm just seeing what the path to Ameluum actually looks like with this failed attempt before we reload. To save us doing it like three times because I get a little further but something shocks me I could have been prepared for if I'd seen it, you know? And we have to play another, again. Indoor Playground! Thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate that immensely. Hope you're having a fantastic evening, friendos. Sorry I was paying attention to your own game, full attention back now. No worries. I'm sorry that's not a bit snippy, I didn't really mean it that way. No worries, I get it. Recess Raid! I was enjoying your stream, I hope the rest of it was just as enjoyable, I sure it was. Samantha, as I always say. But trust me, if you're new here, or if you haven't gone and followed previous times, highly recommend you go follow. Twitch.tv slash Indoor Playground. They're friends of mine and they're just funny as hell. And a delight to hang around with. Uh, you're back. What did you miss? We lost Duke Raven Guard. So we're going to be reloading and trying again. But I'm playing on a little bit because I want to like see a little more of this encounter in case I can prepare for something that would fuck me up on another attempt. But you know, like, I'm ready. Because I, I played a few more turns and I saw it. That's where we're at right now. What's up, Thomas? How's the gaming going? You know what? This is actually better than I thought the first attempt would go, but unsuccessful. But okay. I'm doing well. Just got here from Guess the Game Spot. Nice. Um, is there anything to do? I use your bonus to turn, uh, action to jump, right. I need my turn again, because I want to see what's going on down here. Charm. You don't want to net little on me, do you? He doesn't. He's charmed. They're charmed. It's charmed. Claws. You very clearly are using a spear. What do you mean claws? Blood scent frenzy. Okay. Um. Can I push you to like one side? Kinda. Uh, I failed to um, take care of one of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's activate call lightning. I thought for a second they'd given me some debuff where Tempestuous Magic Flight was suddenly, was suddenly, um, you know, full action. And I was pissed. All right, so let's, let's fly away from this guy. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Let's risk a, an attack of opportunity to see if we can get the lever. It says we can't, but it looks like we can. I'm going to try this. This has happened with attacks before. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. Our movement is now lesser. We really can't. All right. We need to send our best fighters to where Karlak went and to where... I went, wet floor went. We probably want to send me to Duke Ravenguard at a guess, just because I think that direction will need more tricksy stuff, and I've got more tricksy stuff than most of our characters. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Probably also send um, Shadowheart that way with me. Uh, fuck it, you, you, get, get back to my turn real quick. I want to see one more of my turns. Doesn't create any additional benefits. Regular shield. Would have absolutely thought the same as you. Uh, that sub blowing up meant certain doom, not hurry up and rescue them. I just need to make more... I, I do think that's probably one of the assumptions that's more understandable. But it's part of 
a whole litany of assumptions over my streaming career I keep making and they ruin ruin my my time on a game. That's that's too harsh. I don't mean they ruin my fun. I mean, they make me take so much longer because I don't even attempt something. I need to just attempt things, even if I'm, like, pretty sure this, certain this won't work. But this one, I think, is more understandable than many of the assumptions I've made in the past. You must return there. Now is the only way we'll survive this. I know. I know. You know, out of curiosity. Let's see what's over here. Fuck Who's it. battle cry is too high for your hearing. Tremble all Waldemir Prinsky? Are you the person that made the motivators? They were called Prinsky's motivators, weren't they? Oh, haste ended? You can't dash a second time? Shit. You have a plus three bonus from Scarlet Remittance. Consume it to empower yourself in combat. Spend a bonus action to get a dash? Or is that hastened? What is that? Consume it to make your next attack critical. No, it's something else. It's currently giving me dash. What? I I don't remember what Scarlet Feast is, but weird. Gods, it's hot in here. Um, you might be able to get a little bit further and see a bit more. Let's send you the same direction. Dash. Mix a jump in there for distance. You didn't know there was a lever? You've always lockpicked? Oh my god! Have you saved everyone in here lockpicking? That sounds fucking hard to do. What's on Waldemir Prinsky? Waldemar Prinsky. Missive to Prinsky. Kind of, kind of cheating lore-wise, but fuck it. Prinsky wrecked yours, uh, recommended yours whatever yours of the 11th in regarding infernal power source for the motivator your excuses do not justify delays to the project as you will find at your next quarterly review but to the business at hand employ the diabolical praxis in your source book to summon the devil Karaktakis and join him to provide you with formula agonistes for incorporation into the motivator power supply and be sure to provide him with the usual payment that should do the trick for Gork Cash alright <laughs> give me my turn my turn's the one I want to see I right, turns the one I want to see. Then we'll be reloading. I'm trying for real. Yeah, it's going to need to be someone who can move really, really fast, really far, who goes to get Omeluan. Lever. Lever. And then you have to get in and help him? You do? You do. One does. Huh. Fucking hell. Do I send... Hmm. Fucking hell. Did I use my bonus action? Why won't you let me misty step? Why won't you let me misty step? What the fuck's wrong with you? Ah. Not enough movement. I'm away from that. Can I misty step to him? That's really weird. We can spell misty step even though it's already a bonus? What are you asking me to do? You have Misty Step from an item versus learning the spell, maybe? Maybe. Oh, and I did already use it once. I'd forgotten I'd used it. I probably have it from an item seeing as it's uncommon. Yeah, fair enough. Fly! Do you need an action to do this? You do need an action to free Omeluum. Okay, the action economy is going to be crazy. Take two. I thought it made a, um, whatever. Take two. If I send Minsk the way that Karlak went, if it then seems important, he will be able to to pick the lock and come from behind to help get enemies off Karlak's back. Karlak goes the way I went. Now, 
two characters I expect to have hasted and ready will both be the ones who can, um, how long does haste last? Last ten turns. You can cast haste on yourself. Is it a bad idea to cast it before I go into combat? We don't have ten turns, so I can waste a few turns here. How long does this last? Five turns. It's full action. Alright. So I will cast haste on Karlak. Minsk will cast haste on himself. And then we will go down the metal hatch and start the conversation before a turn passes. <laughs> you must act with haste. You want to free the Gondians? You would let innocence die, shame on you. Inspiration. Okay. I was only trying to do Raven Guard is it the hostages are placed. Be careful. Act with speed. Okay. Away we go. Minsk. Is the camera not following you properly? You put that feels better. Um, 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 um. Try to ambush her. I can't use a special arrow for this. I can use braced if I spend some movement. Is that worthwhile? Not this turn. Why am I thinking that? Yeah. Oh wait, I could have used a bonus arrow there. I think I've tried that before and it cancels the special, you know, attack. Uh, ranged attack. Not fire. Not fire. Not ice. Acids not bad because acid on the ground reduces AC, which isn't like great, but it doesn't trip people or burn them. I guess we'll just do it like a regular ass. Does a little extra damage. Leaves ice on the ground. Yeah, okay, let's do acid. Fuck it. Acid. Kill. Alright, this should kill him. Good stuff. I made this lever. Beautiful. Dash. Get the fuck over here as far as you can. Good god, your movement, man. Holy fucking shit. Good god damn. You have Misty Step, don't you? You have a bonus action you can spend on Misty Step this turn. Holy fucking shit. Okay, hang on. I don't know where the guy is. He's coming around again? Alright, I have to do this right, weirdly. I have to do this right. Because if I stop him here... Well, I guess I would just walk the other direction. Misty step as far as you fucking can. Now get the hell in there. Add them to the combat, standing on the opposite side. And get this lever all in this turn. Holy fucking shit, Minsk, you're still moving! Oh my god! And turn. Well done, Minsk. Alright, Karlak. You're the other hasted person who naturally has fuck tons of movement and an insane jump. You're gonna be going the direction I went last time. So, let's start with... Should we use your jump early? The reason I'm using them early is because I know I just need to go straight as far as I can for the first section. And so my jump, I get the maximum use out of it rather than around a corner, it may not be ideal later on. That's why I'm trying to decide early about use misty step, use jump. It maximizes every last meter. Here it will save me going around Obelia Tubin wildly. That's a little bonus too. <laughs> I'm nervous. Jumping does- there we are. Fuck up your interface, I was about to say. Alright, come on in here. And... We have a lever in that to get. Uh, dash. Hit the lever first. 
Use your second action to help Centauria out. Whoever that is. Yeah, fucking yeah! And then you've got some more movement to come around and start towards Emeluum. Also, a very good turn. Oh, they have a surprise round? I thought this is a Hwagen. We're gonna go now. To make me so excited, there's a lot yet to go. It's the particularly tricky business of Raven Guard, of course. But this is an excellent beginning. Okay, um, what do I want to do here? I want, what's my Misty Step look like? My Misty Step goes insanely far because I'm amazing. Let's, ooh, this is a little bit awkward. Uh, fuck it, let's go now. Now, do I kill them? Or do I just take a hit and do some more movement with like a dash? I think actually I kill them to minimize threats on this side of the map for when Duke Ravenguard gets here. Yeah, when Duke Ravenguard is running around is what I mean. What do I kill them with? Can I kill them? 71 health. 71 health. Uh, can I reach a distance where I can? I can reach a distance where I can. This has a better than 50-50 chance, once it hits, of killing. It has probably, a, just out of guess, a slightly worse than 50-50 chance, like a 40, let's say 40% chance of killing, if we include the 80% chance to hit. We can improve those odds by heightening the spell. 96%, we're back around 50-50. Please work. May the gods take you first. You have two health remaining. You asshole. That's upsetting. End turn. Alright, Shadowheart, come on down. Onward. I like the Shadowheart and I have turns at the same time. I really love grouped up turns. Shadowheart, you're gonna dash. The reason you're gonna dash is because you're gonna hit this lever. And then come around here. And you were out of movement, so of course you're gonna fucking dash. Of course. Now then. You could sanctuary me. The way the turns work out, I wonder if you'll have a chance to sanctuary Duke Ravenguard. That would be amazing. Is there any reason for you to sanctuary me? I guess it means they would attack you, which is kind of nice. Is there anything else you can do with your bonus action that I would like you to do with your bonus action? Probably not. Go ahead and sanctuary me. For the fuck of it. It's a level one spell. Who gives a shit? Yeah, the camera's doing the thing again. It's showing me someone different to who's being attacked. Run, Forest, run! Do you have Call of the Week? I do. I do have Call of the Week. Actually, I might not have bought that yet. I held off buying it a very long time because I was... I thought it looked pretty unimpressive. Now I've got a lot more tadpoles in my head and it would come up more often. And I'm not sure if I bought it. Can't recall, actually. Seeing as they have two health left, unless they're outside, like, its effective range... Um, I guess I didn't buy it. You don't want to get near her. She's on business. You're not even looking at her. Interesting. By the way, the reason I sent my slowest characters over here is because I think the other two are better at taking care of an entire wing themselves, but also because I, I'm trying to take this slow so that I can do the most prep before he's going. Does that make sense? I, that could be wrong, given how much it looks like... I, I feel like Mizor is going to interrupt more than once as he leaves. And if I'm right about that, it might be best to send the very fastest person after Ravenguard to start the series of events that is his escape much earlier. You're immobilized. Do you have any way to free movement? Mobile and snared. Tell me specifically. Attack rolls have advantage. Slashing and fire damage remove the netting. Okay. Main hand attack. Attack the snare. Oh, it also ended your fucking... Your fucking... 
Did you miss or something? Did I not target the net? What am I doing? Yeah, I just damage against me, but I can't target myself. Oh, so I, that was stupid. Well, that's dumb. You gotta get out of here. You gotta go, guys! You gotta go before you die, too. You could die. Okay. I think, fuck it, we go ahead and just, just, uh, let this guy attack me. Yeah, I think fuck that. Come over here and hit this. Sick miss, bro. Spend a jump for the extra distance. And we still have our action to free Omeluum. That's why we used our jump to close the distance so I wouldn't have to dash. All right, Omeluum is on his way out. Good shit. I still have a bonus action for a dash. Um, of course I will. To make myself hopefully a more attractive target. We're getting back beside the Sahuagin. Count on me. <laughs> you traverse so much distance every turn, Karlag. This is incredible. This is fucking incredible. All right, are they gonna kill one? Yeah, they killed one. Damn netting. Fucking netting. If he hadn't been netted, he would have been able to run over and hit the lever, which doesn't cost an action or a bonus action. Then I could have spent his actions attacking them and possibly killing them. It's not a guarantee none of them would have died, but would have been a really high chance. I could have saved everyone. Add not being able to fight with the netting around your own feet to my list of annoyances along with not being able to tell your DM I want to sneak up behind that person and try to knock them out silently. I hate it. The other guy die? The one who had like no fucking health? Oh no, we came over here. Why didn't you opportunity attack him? He didn't come close enough? Really? Really, really? Let's take What's your that? turn first. Is that what I mean? I think it is. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit weird, but I think it is. Uh, you have to stop in the doorway. The doorway looks wide enough for two people to pass. So, let me rethink that. I'll go first. I'll go first. So I come over here. I twin spell. Firebolt on the two levers. A little flashy bit for no reason. Just a little flashy bit. I I don't have a scroll of dimension door. I don't have a scroll of dimension door. I have other ideas. Okay, here's the other thing I was thinking. I may not be done with myself just yet, but the other thing I was thinking was, are you close enough to sanctuary him? You are. Sanctuary Raven Guard. Dude, can he still be hit by AOE when you do this? You can still take damage from area spells. It depends on if those exploding things can target him or not. Or have to target him, is what I meant. Sanctuary. Yeah, that's just your bonus action. What are you gonna do with your action? Seeing as I don't need you to come further in here. I guess you can. I guess you can. Does this hold any humanoid? It does, but it's concentration and you're already casting a concentration, so it doesn't work. Yeah, they're all gonna be concentration. I don't think any of those help me. I don't think any of those help me out. 
All right. Look at just like radiant this guy, and lower his odds of uh, land. <gasps> oh right, that's concentration too. It's exceptionally tempting though, to break my concentration, cast silence in this area, and see if Mizora can summon the men. In fact, I absolutely fucking have to. I have to know. I have to know if there's if if Mizora can do anything when she shows up in silence. Um, I should have taken my bonus action first because I could have hasted a spell, but it's okay. It's not actually a big deal or anything. I don't care. End turn. I really should have hasted a spell. How many attempts are we at? This is the second, and I've just taken a, a, a turn off into experimentation. Plus, Minsk got a bad roll, so it's going okay so far, but I'm worried. One Gondian has died. I, will aid you as much as I, can. I have to play you too? What can you do? You can dash, you can mind blast, you can cast silence. Dissonant whispers, frighten a creature, gives them disadvantage and they can't move. Teleport to submersible. I can send the slowest fucking person after him. If I had done one more turn, the first attempt, that's the kind of thing I would have seen and known this time. Oh, you can fucking fly? I hit jump, or I hit Z and it just automatically shows fly. It's four meters of movement speed, but you get to fly, bonus action costs three meters. You can jump five meters, four meters for 18. So obviously fly is better. It's also not even a bonus action, so hello. Tino, thank you so much for the raid. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Arx underscore Hydro and we are playing a game of movement and action economy to try to save people from a sinking ship. That's all I'll say in case you're trying to avoid spoilers for Baldur's Gate 3, we are late in the game. But it's so good to see you, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday and you were enjoying Tino's stream, I'm sure you were. How's it going everybody? What's up Tino? There are two G's in, this looks soggy, it's very soggy and it's getting worse by the moment. It is not going well. Okay, I need you to jump. Need you to jump, jump. In fact, jump past the Sohwagon. Whee! Go as far as you can, even though you're allowed to teleport back. Just because you now you're near Karlak and I have options, stuff like that. All right. How tricksy can we be here? Will we even hear her for the conversation? Well, look who it is. I don't think it's gonna work. I was hoping you'd bound along. A bargain's a mere f if only now stop. Apparently there's no audible component to that spell. There are two Bs in I'm owed all of Brad's forbles. Hey, have, is it, has it been Brad every time you say that? Or is Brad like the fucking fifth person you're owed all of the forbles of? I feel like every other day you're owed all the forbles of someone. All right, uh, come over. No, fuck it, just shoot this Sohwagen with a special arrow, because fuck them. We've got Guiding Bolt now? Good. Sneak attack them with a special arrow. Because extra fuck them. Please die. You're such a dick. You're such a dick not dying. Is there anything I can do with my um, bonus action to finish you off? I guess I can Pommel Strike. That has like a 50-50 chance.
Knocked out. Fair enough. I used my bonus action, so I can't jump now, but we can still keep moving. And turn. All right, Karlak. I think you're going to get the easy way out. See no reason not to take it. So fuck this guy up a little bit, and then I just need to position you for the easy way out. You didn't think I had that many actions, did you? <laughs> you had no idea what you were up against. No, it's always Brad, but if you're offering, technically it's the boobs. Try that as well. Sorry, no dice. But fun for me to see you had the same idea. It would be amazing if that worked. It would be a little bit... Okay. Unless there is a rules reason like, oh, demons, it's just like innate for them. They don't need to... It's not like casting a spell. Unless it's some excuse like that, I do wish that worked. Because I think that's so off the wall, even if it negates quite a challenge. That's... But it's not my game, so whatever. Worked for the hag, so it's not like I didn't have a chance. Don't waste a step. What do I have that can kill all them little guys without hitting him? I did not teach myself wall of fire or any of those wall spells, did I? It would be an act of desperation to place faith in the idea of call lightning. Um, just hitting what I want them to do. Okay, I need to make sure I don't see the spider up close. Oh, positioned it perfectly. What is Volatile Blood? This creature takes 1 to 6 necrotic damage each turn and detonates upon death and silence, of course. They are immune to fire. Resist lightning and cold. I was hoping Volatile Blood was, if this creature is hit, it explodes on its next turn. Something like that. Because I was going to magic missile all of them. Seeing as that's not what it is, do I have a scroll of wall of anything? Not scroll, wall. Scroll of wall of fire. Hang on, do I have multiple ones of ice so I would keep options la open later? Oh, I got tons of scrolls of wall of ice. Then again, wall of ice is fucking... But I do have five. But it's 20 to 120. What is wall of fire? Oh, fuck wall of fire. Wall of fire. <laughs> we can cast... What's their health? I think we can cast wall of fire. We keep those walls of ice. Just realized this entire thing is technically 36 seconds in real time. Yeah, for anyone who's unaware, I think the way it's written, it's not like exactly six seconds, but somewhere in the manuals, I believe it says that a round of combat represents about six seconds of action. Each of your characters takes about six seconds of action. So, six turns to sync. This is just barely over half a minute long. Cast wall of fire. Invalid target. What am I... What do you mean invalid target? Just... It's a wall of fire. Just cast a wall of fire. Oh, it has to be in a line? Alright, this one I'm more trusting won't hit the duke. Good luck, everybody. Oh yeah, I read they were immune to burning, didn't I? This turn I read that. I have so many wall of ices. Quicken spell. This one weird. No, it just looks weird because it now says quicken spell and has all the extra colors that go with that. Wall of ice. Right atop the wall of fire. Were you that close to them? Go again. Take three. <laughs> maybe this, maybe, okay, guess what? Maybe the game didn't lie last time. We don't actually know. Maybe it was that explosion that killed him. Give me those. Let's get going. How do they work again? One adjacent allies. They're probably going to be within like three meters. 
You gotta be within probably like melee distance or something. All right, uh, let's go again. Based on, how do I wanna do this? I think we're gonna do it the same way. I'm not entirely confident that's smart, but I think we're gonna do it the same way. Based on Karlak. Your own haste on you. There we go. Never mind. Hold. A call. You must act with haste. It is painful to say, but they cannot be your priority. Duke Ravengard must be saved. The city needs you. I was only trying That's to what we were really doing. We're saved scumming until I got to keep my inspiration point. Is the hostages are played. Be careful. Act with speed. Okay, 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 all right, okay. Uh, Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. Good start, good start. I want you to try to ambush her ranged, and we will test if that fucks with arrow of acid. It does, you're now using a regular action. That is unlucky as hell. Hmm. I don't understand this. I don't have a superiority die, and this doesn't take an action or a bonus action. What the fuck is this? I know it's from my bow, but I missed something on my bow that doesn't take any payment, and you just get to shoot a guy? How did I do that? You know what, actually? I remember reading it now. I actually do remember it. Whoops. Alright. Ranger spell. Misty step. Actually, Misty step might be good to save. Not sure. They move so fast. Misty step might be good to save in case they net him. Yeah, let's do that. Um. So use a jump somewhere along here for a little extra distance. Ah, oh, that thing joined initiative at the most annoying time. I can still get by without an attack opportunity, so that's good. I'm not opening up their cage yet. That is probably actually good. Minsk's turn done. Next. Karlak. Down the ladder you go. You surprised that you missed something that requires you to read menus? Can you read my highlighted messages at many points, but you'd like not to spend them again? Do you want us to break the rules and warn you if spiders are coming, like automatic pomegranates? No. Thank you for asking, but no, no, we're all set. Do I want to send Karlik down this way? When I know that we can just teleport out? Would she be more useful somewhere else? Would Shadowheart be better down there? No, the problem going this way is that she'll trigger the event too quickly. I think she'll trigger the event sort of too quickly. Yeah, Shadow Art should be the one to go down here, but she's just too slow for me to let her to, to do it. I need this. What I'm worried about is the extra guys spawning. That's what sucks about sending someone fast over to do Graven Guards thing prison. That's what sucks about it. Dash on over here. To well, this lever. Gonna have a good time. Snake Snake will fuck you while you, you try, try to walk through traps. John Blade, thank you so much for the gifted sub over on Twitch. I appreciate the support immensely, and I'm sure the recipient appreciates. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. All right, I already.
already have Tempestuous because we started this after I cast a spell. So that is not a bad way to use my bonus action. Let's do that. Let's have a simpler first turn. Curse to put my hands on that gets me further along physically. Do I mean that? I think I do mean that. At the ready. Minsk is getting hit, so we're not allowed to see it. Really impressive that we're sticking with the 10k cost for highlighting a message, given that it seems, if anything, to make Hydro less likely to see it. They rolled a 15. Um, shield level 1 only costs level 1 spell slot, right? I'm comfy with that. To reduce the chance of getting netted, it's very worthwhile. Super worthwhile. You want to take your chances, too? You want to stop taking your chances now? Fuck off. Did Minsk get netted? Nobody knows. No one can see. Uh, missile snare it. How much damage did Minsk take? Nobody knows. Nobody was there to watch. But at least Obelia Tubin is out. They must place her ready to escape just to be sure that every player, unless they attack her, if they fail to save everyone else, gets to feel extra bad. Because Obelia Tubin will tell, you know, like, She'll be telling, what is his name, Zip, Zip I, start with a Z, Zeppelin Tubin, about all the horrible things that happened, and then everyone died. She has to get out to tell her story and make it all the worse if we fail. I'm in a very negative mindset right now, but this has taken three tries just to get this far. When I say this far, I'm not even up to where I was in the first two tries. Is there anything tricksy to do with your turn? Anything at all? could cast hold on you. What are the odds of landing hold on you? Let's try. Hold person has an 80% chance of landing. Are you focusing on anything else right now? You're focusing on guidance. Cast hold person. Well, that's deeply upsetting. And dumb. Now I don't know what to do with your bonus action or anything. Should have dashed and jumped and just moved you forward. That's really stupid. <sighs> Alright, for the fuck of it. Um, cast Sanctuary on me just because we don't need those spell slots. So might as well give me a possible advantage with it. All right, I think everyone has passed the extra spawns, so now we can let Duke Raven guard out any time. I am willing to waste another turn before I open that up, however. I am willing. Especially because I'm pretty certain I have an idea, I know how things are gonna work when I, uh, so where, are these, where are the people that need to escape? Beside me here and over there, and you're over there. I think we take a second to Kill at least one of them. Maybe two of them. Ninety-five percent. Did I have advantage on you? No, I had disadvantage. Also, you lost haste because you got snared and lost your concentration or whatever. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. to be dead now. You're supposed to be dead now. How much movement have you got? Uh, not enough for what I was thinking. 
All right. Didn't knock him out. Failed at my goal. Um, you don't need to kill anyone. Really. You really don't. They don't have, like, paralyzing criticals that stop you from leaving. And I have an idea of what to do with you. Yeah, you don't... Just keep going. Wait. Wait, does space end turn? I, I accidentally hit space because I tensed my hand up and I hit space then escape. I'm going to keep playing, but that was a bad accident. My hand tensed up and I tilted it the wrong way. She could have freed him that turn. Yeah, actually, it's a worse accident than I think. Still, here we go. Watch me beat this. Why are you guys passing by me? That's worrisome. 7138. Okay, give me a sec here. Let's clear the way. I... How far do I need to go to hit you with disintegration? I need to go quite a ways. So, I'm gonna come Very over here. Well. Disintegrate. Twin spell. Gotta move a little closer. Can I land it now? Twin spell. Please die. Please die. Beautiful. Shove? Is he prone? I forget if shove lets you get back up or not. I think it depends on if you fall, but I really do not know. Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. This turn, you need to dash dash and just make some fucking distance. Got to press on. Is there anything I want to do with your bonus action? You know, possibly. Your bonus action, you can't hit anything though, can you? No, I don't think there is anything I want to do with your bonus action. I was hoping maybe I could get you to free them, but I've used up all your movements so you can't jump. Looks like you wouldn't have been able to get there anyway. Yeah. All right. All right, no worries. Just wasting, wasting possibilities left and right. No, no, no big worries here on take number three at this. Currently immune to single target damage, the AI tends to go for other targets. Oh, right. Good thinking. Well remembered. see you. I move that direction. Feels like not. Must have advantage? Oh, right. I, of course I must. Of course I must. You can move a little bit and hit him. Justice is not so gentle. Okay. Particularly with a jump. Can you not get back here? Oh, you don't even need to use your jump. Is there anything else I can do with your bonus action? I guess we can put it in the middle of this transit. And you might be able to come back a, a step or two from the lever after hitting it. All right, for real this time. This is probably the only chance I have to use your jump, so let's do it. There won't be a longer, like, straight section is what I'm thinking. OK, 
Okay, and now that you have freed Emeluum, and turn. Alright, this has to start now. This absolutely has to start. So let us... Open the both of these. And get out of the doorway. That's probably wise. Yeah, that's probably wise. And turn. Meat shield of the Gondians. Good job. Yes, come this way. Please, come as far this way as you want. No one's going to be there in a second. I was just thinking, it's a little worrisome. They might come to center and then... Oh, God knows what. Okay, let's try sanctuarying him again. It still doesn't protect him from explosions, but... Let's swap the sanctuary from me to him. In case it saves him from something. And I don't think you need to move. I think there's a perfectly fine path around you. In fact, just to make it more direct, get up on these crates in case. He's going to have three, four turns to leave. I don't know if he goes this round. All right, Emelium. Get us the fuck out of here. How does this work? Teleport yourself and up to one ally back to the submersible. You and Karlak back to the submersible now. And then Karlak's going back out. Genius that everyone else had probably already thought of, but literally only came to me at the end of the last attempt. Genius! Just in case he can help me, I'm gonna send him down to center as well. He's got enough health, right? Yeah. Just in case he can be of help. Is that how you use a ladder? And get out of the way of the ladder. You can heal him, and that might have been the wise thing to do. Probably was. Alright, Raven Guard. You have an inventory? This is... It looks like I can't give you anything. Yeah, I don't think I can give him anything. Let's not worry about that. I hate how the conversation takes the rest of his turn. Is there anything clever to do in this first turn? Anything at all? Can you start a little farther forward by jumping at the beginning? Look at how fast we move here. All of us gather for this conversation. Well, and then we get back to where we were. We do start further forward. Might be a tiny advantage. Like him being far enough away to not get hit by the explosion. Deciding if I want to risk that. Alright. Can I... End your sad little existence? In one is perfect. In one is all I could ever ask for, because now I can open this this way. And start moving back to center. In one was the dream that I dared not hope for. Hey, what's up, Mambo? Good to see you. See, we're claiming the Iron Throne. Which house do we fight for? We're trying to save the Gondians, Duke Ravenguard, and Omeluum all. We're trying to do everything. Okay, these ones are likely safe. I don't see any enemies between them and escaping. Some might more, more might spawn. There's no one down here that has to be saved. I guess Karlak can... Which side of this is the uh, lever on? You know, actually, it doesn't even matter... Because we saw them fail to open doors, right? Didn't we? I saw one hit this door. No, no, I saw one hit 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw one hit this door when it was on the side. Uh, it had the lever. So if there's a way for me to shut this door from this side, they're fucked. Which would be really nice. Throw just something small. Explode an impact and making all nearby creatures bleed. Throw a little shrapnel grenade over here and hit that switch. That is the lever, right? Yeah. Please work. Fuck you. <laughs> now go this way. Keep in mind, this is a movement speed without dashing, and she came down ladders this turn. She's a mad woman. Can she get all the way to him with a crazy jump? Path is interrupted, target's too far. I don't think she can. I don't think she can. I was hoping she could with just like using her bonus action to jump because, oh my god, she would then be able to be the person to assist him. Which would be fucking ridiculous. Just in case it's lying to me about distances, let's try it. Um, so let's make the path straighter, use our jump to pass by this person. Can she throw a potion? Um, he has fiendish obeisance, and I'm not sure a potion helps. Uh, if she can't get to him to end that, it might be worth her throwing a potion, you know, for the sake of his health, certainly. Yeah, she can't get to him. Okay. Yeah, potion is probably a good idea. Karlak, you can move wherever you want, so you don't need to go all the way in. Come over here to one side. And... Throw... Did I take all the potions away from you? Put them on my character? I think I did. Throw. This is Will's dad. Let's not skimp here. Not the supreme, but the superior. Where's the superior? There they are. Split stack. Yeah, just give me 13. Don't worry about it. Okay. Throw. A. Healing potion. It's at the start. Huh. On to Duke Holder. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Enter. Beautiful stuff. Home. Welcome home, Shoujo. Man is focused. Rotini time. Good god, how many potions? Uh, I ran out of nice ones once, and so, yeah, we're pretty focused on having a good, a good set now, and I've managed that, I feel. Alright, um... I'm going to help Duke Older. And then... I'm going to quick cast Dimension Door to make more sure we get out of this. Oh, I can't quicken spell. And if I eat up uh, sorcery points... Yeah, if I eat up sorcery points, that takes my bonus action. Damn, I didn't plan that out well takes an action to pick him up. That's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. Well, none of the spiders go. You're gonna go next. You could get him out of here. You could get him out of here. Do I start leaving, assuming that he'll be safe? Do I, do I, do I? Hmm. Do I kill them, hoping he'll be safe from the explosions? I wish there was a way to tell how big the explosion would be. If it's like the size of the arrows I have, I'm pretty sure he's safe. I don't know, I'm not sure I'm willing to risk that, considering they go after him and he goes uh, after Shadowheart could dimension door him so far from here. I think we think we go ahead and don't attack them and we just begin our escape. But I'm not going to move as far as fucking possible away from here. Give him a hug and then run. It's exactly the strat I landed on. What's wrong with his hot bar? So, so much. The hot bar gets you worse than my inventory does. I can believe it. Everyone has their triggers. That right there was how long it takes one of these sea creatures to understand the concept of a closed door. Where are they going? What are they going to go do? Okay. 
with your turn. Cast Dimension Door. Choose target to teleport. You. Choose location. It needs to be in sight. Okay. Come on down here. Scroll of Dimension Door. Target's too far. It increases the range at which you can use Dimension Door when you have height over your target? I think that's what just happened when she was standing on the crate. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Your arm's not longer. And let's fucking go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you are going to stand here, because I'm pretty sure people can get around you, but enemies would have to take an opportunity attack if they run through this way. I think I have you positioned where that's the case. Hope I do. Doorknobs are hard, okay? I think they're going the long way around since Minced Path is technically open. If you don't click the plus in the hotbar, my stomach sinks, my heart clenches, my eye twitches. I want more of the screen to be the, like, action for cinematic reasons. That's part of why we suffer. You're welcome. Alright, you can do this again and again. Um, you want to come, like, save me? These Gondians haven't moved. They get to move really fast, don't they? Do they? Their door is unlocked, isn't it? They just haven't gone yet? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um... There's not really anyone who needs to be saved. Let me try moving um, you since I just realized I can. See how far you can get without any help. You just need to dash and leave, friends. Book the ladder. Into the submersible. Okay. Okay. And take, take a seat on this padded chair. There are chairs left. Oh my god, you guys were tortured prisoners. You're in the middle of an escape. And you're so polite, you're like, well, there will be other people who want chairs. Please sit. You make me feel so awkward. I'm hosting this sub. Welcome to Sands. You're gonna have a good time. Stay quiet and we'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Good night, Arnar. Renar, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful evening. Sleep well, sweet dreams. So we're wishing good night, right? That's why I'm finally catching up with Witch and Good Night, yes? <laughs> Diamond, thank you so much for the tier one resub in 50 fucking four total months. An incredible amount of support. And bring to my attention, I should join in the goodbyes for the evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the resub. Enjoy your ad free viewing and your back stream was over on Twitch, etc. Finding Captain Nemo and escaping with him. I don't remember what happens in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's where Nemo's from, right? But like, I don't think Nemo makes it out, does he? We need everybody here to make it out. All right, just in case Gondians look like they're not gonna make it, come over here and you're gonna save the slowest of them. I don't know what to do with you, but this is what I'm deciding. And turn. Everyone on this side I'm pretty sure is gonna get out just fine. Fishmen will fuck you while you try to run to subs. They don't know how to use doors though. If you're wondering how to make this encounter just a little bit easier on yourself, my recommendation is shut the door behind you. Just shut the... You weren't raised in a barn. Shut the door. Okay? Running, we might be rid of this cycle yet. So far, they move in a turn. Are they going to make it? Oh, I wish I'd counted how many turns other people took to make it. They look in danger. A nice one of them. Let's finish this. 
could have haste one of them. Didn't one of the ones around here get like haste? I assumed they had. I assumed they got like an extra haste thing. A buff. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Long stride of this one at the back. Yeah, yeah, I do mean that actually. Yeah, long stride of this one at the back. My hamster hears and I obey. Wish you could cast it again, but you can't. So, come up this way and stay out of their way. Use your bonus action to jump that barrel, please. And turn. Carlac. Uh, you're standing at the door here. We don't really need to deal with them. I think they can fuck off. Are you them through the door? I think one is. Not sure about that one in the middle. We'll find out if they're through the door or not. Carlac, come all the way over here and you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to take a single action or a single bonus action because I don't think there's anything you can do to speed up anyone else. You are perfectly safe to escape in the last turn. But there may be something you can do if I'm surprised by like another spawn of enemies or something. Remember, by the way, there's a Sawagan over here who have no idea what's going on. You can see one, just slightly. They don't, they don't know anything's happening. It's like Mission Impossible tense right now. I feel like, unless there's a surprise, I'm slightly more likely to make it than not, but I do not have a lot of confidence in that prediction. I'm bad at predictions, and these three now worry me with how slow they are. I really don't like them. Amaluum's going to warp one of them out. I've already decided. If I had enough time, Amelium would warp two of them out, but there aren't enough turns to do that. Wait, there are two spiders that go in this turn? Oh, but the door's shut, and they're not the ones in the door. No worries. At all. How'd the foundry go yesterday? Oh. So quickly. And perfectly. I wasn't at all confused. I would describe the experience as smooth. Um, I think I did most of it successfully, but I should have been doing this first, and it was very awkward and slow and tough, and and I I don't exactly know how it turned out. It may be fine. I may have uh, fucked things up in the order I did stuff, and not yet be aware. What do I need to do with my turn? We could go cast haste on somebody. If I could reach one of the like distant Gondians to cast haste on them, that would be delightful. Well, one has to try. One has to make the attempt. Did I already use my Misty Step? Misty Step? How far can I get? The rest of my movement. Can't slow down. And then if I dashed. I uh, wouldn't be that close to them. We might be able to cast haste to next turn on one of them. So I don't think we'll go up the ladder in case we can do that. But I can't cast haste on any of them right now. Has Amelium gone this turn? He's not. will break haste on Karlak. I think that's okay. Damn, but I can't cast on him anyhow. I want to cast it on Ameluum because there's a very, very outside chance it would give him enough movement to do quite a lot of ridiculous stuff. Quite a lot. Scrolls of Misty Step. I just have dimension doors to move around. Ugh. Scroll blink. Here we are. 
No, not that. I'm thinking Warcraft Blink. I want to teleport is what I'm trying to do. I want to teleport and it's not working. You know what I just remembered? Those teleportation arrows that I haven't been using. There's a couple times those might have come in real handy. I've got a, like several of them, I think. Yeah, I don't think I can help anyone. We're going to dash so I'm in a better position to maybe help someone. But I don't know if I can help anyone right now. If anything bad happens, we can reload to before the entire foundry again, right? If we're going that far, let's uh, go ahead and reload the Kazdor fight, and then the greatest number of little up arrow messages I have ever gotten in a row. I like that hope springs eternal. I like that. Love this mission, because you're a masochist? You enjoy the feeling of stress? You love this mission. I actually don't dislike it, though. I'm not great at it, and it's worrying me immensely. Oh, there's nothing really for you to do to help people out. Not really. Not really. When I go. So what do I do with you? What do I do with you? Like nothing, man. Like nothing. This door's locked, but they have a lever on their side, but they don't know how to use levers. So I actually don't know why they were coming to that door. I guess it's locked either way. It doesn't matter which door they go to. So I just need these guys to, like, get here now, you know? Yeah, nothing comes to mind. All right. In turn. Two more, two more. They're good. All right. I long strider this one, so you can go ahead and take care of this one. You can only take one, right? Yeah, you can only take one. Alright. So we'll take the middle one. Not Disney Whispers, what am I doing? Levitate over here. And teleport this one back with you. Excellent job. Um, come position yourself back here again because you're going to be able to escape next turn. Don't worry. There's a chance I could really use one more. If the guy just gets like halfway, you could be the difference. You could be the deciding factor, Omeluum. You really could. You don't need to turn. You're sitting. You're safe. Stop bothering me with this. Under pressure. Played Subnautica. You know the depth limit. You can see sunlight through the water. Pressure won't be too bad. What are the odds you actually misplaces one of the PCs too far from the sub? What was Nick's suggestion? Coming down here and repeat playthroughs when you have a plan is very satisfying. After all, it wouldn't be funnier to bury a Starion alive at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Nick's suggestion when you did this was to leave a Starion behind because it's not like he needs to breathe. I'm glad I finally pieced together all of that joke. It was worth it. Uh, sincerely. <laughs> oh, man. You replayed this mission a number of times so you could get everyone out. You hated it on your first run, second run and on. This is indeed one of the best in the game. Felt like Ethan Hunt or something. There is that. That is the aspect I'm enjoying of this so far. All right, you have Long Strider, and somehow you've not overtaken this one. Um, This is the last round, so this is when we have to get out. Uh, So, Minsk. Minsk, you have to get out. I don't think we can long stride at the other guy, but I think they're going to be fine. I hope they're going to be fine. Let's go, Minsk. It's time to leave. Am I forgetting anything? Am I forgetting anything? Someone hold Boo. He does not enjoy the bumpings to come. <sighs> All right, leave the seats for them. By the way. Hey, Hastar, what are you doing? Carlock, there's nothing you can do any longer to save anyone other than yourself. Time to go up. Close ranks. Mm. 
nine attempts. That was like the memento of building a joke. Why was it so hard? This mission, it's just there are lots of little ways things can go wrong. There's someone you have to free who starts at very low health, and if they die, you can't revivify them, so that's like your only chance to save them. Um, it's, it's, yeah, enemies will net you, and so if you fail a roll with the wrong person at the wrong time and they're immobilized, you're in a lot of trouble for escaping. It's just a huge fucking pain. You'll definitely make it. I don't think I need to do anything for you. You'll definitely make it. Um. So I, what am I gonna do? I could use my bonus action to fly. That would be nice. It would be nice. So let's cast, no, then I lose my dash, of course. Dash is gonna be way better. Never mind. Let's just use regular old movement speed flight. Hang on a sec. I do this. No, no one's in the middle. They're all off the turn order. Damn, I wish I could fly right up to the top. But I can't raise the camera to see and do that. Alright, I'll fly here. Climb the ladder. How much movement speed have I got? Okay. Okay. I want to get that book just so I can say I even looted. But it would be a hall of victory. We should just be safe and leave. If I had my Misty Step now, I could do it. If I had my Misty Step now. Omeluum can save me. Don't mind if I do. If I can't make it back to the ladder, Omeluum can transport me out. Oh no, oh, Omeluum will save me. There we go. It's remarkable none of them have accidentally hit the lever, because the lever switches if you just, like, knock into it. I've shot them with arrows, and they consistently... I hit one with an explosion. They consistently just open. They're just ready to open. On I go. All right, Amelia. You need to come up here and save me. Those ones will get out on their own. I have every faith in them. I got a little greedy. Couldn't go any further. You need to take us up there. Thank you, Omeluum. That makes space for the other people coming in. The Graven Guard, you're fine. Stop asking me for new orders. Loot Goblin Hydro. If we just activated a fourth attempt for a book, we'll be fine. There are three people that need to escape? Who's the third? Did I miss someone? Hastar Biggs. No, Hastar Biggs was already in the sub. Ah! Perfection! Perfection! And depending on how I edit it, it'll look like the first try. Perfection! You know, I even looted while I was in there. It's just easy for some of us. Uh, wait until we tell Will. Wait until we tell Flora. Wait until we tell Will. Good job, Hydro. Let's go! I was here! First try! Hi, Kitty Cat. Or he just jumped up on the, uh, 
Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Snake Man will fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Explodeberry, thank you so much for the gifted tier one sub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support and the generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Calmness greets you as the submersible slows to a halt. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. So it seems, will the families of all the hostages rescued from the throne. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tangled, but under my protection now. Oh. Just like you. Ah. His mind is his own again. Fuck you, Mizora. I'm free. In my own mind again, holy. I will not take it for granted. You acted quickly, decisively, and compassionately. I, nay, all of us owe you no less than our undying gratitude. You getting all this, Samantha? And I looted. <laughs> the Absolute's voice has gone silent. Must be a relief. What are you going to do now? How'd you end up in the Iron Throne? Uh, well, the Absolute's voice has gone silent. It must be a relief. The, the Absolute. Its voice was clear as crystal. Beautiful. I didn't even notice the uh, name the first time. Submarine the veteran. The darkest lies convinced me of their truth. To be free is like knowing the sun's warmth on my face for the first time. Kortash must be pissed. I wonder if he knows. The place was all breaking apart. Does he have like sensors, even magical ones still, that reported back to him? Maybe he has no idea. Visit Omelium in the Society of uh, Brilliance. Uh, we can talk to him right here, though. Hey, Omelium. Seems like a good moment to Wait, talk. I should quick save. Just, just lock that in first. He had a video screen to talk to you on the sub. I assume he has other means of knowing things. That's a good point. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, Sun Child. Sun Child? One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the Society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. Good to see you again, Amelia. Uh, so are we there? Do I just leave now? Yeah, I can't use the controls. We must be back. You, you were to administer Abel's justice. Wait. Instead, no. you conspire with the abomination. Well, I, well, one of the many people I just saved speak up for me at this point. Black, the sea itself chokes. No, 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 no. Gods, they're not. You have to help me. Step out of the way. Protect oh, him. Oh, you're talking to him. Oh, I'll kill him. That's fine. <laughs> She's talking to me. <laughs> Woo! It does look like she's facing me. Oh, yeah, okay. She's asking me not to protect him. Uh, you know what? He's all yours. Fuck him. What? Man, you've got to I know you're doing it for the money, but at some point someone needs to stand up and I'm rather mad at you. I surrender, all right. You wouldn't hurt a harmless man, right? And you, thanks for nothing, prick. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I lied to you from the beginning, right? Like, we're not... It's over. It's fine. Universal disapproval from your party? You got the drip? Wait. Oh my God, correct choice. We're gonna get that approval back, trust me. Wave Mother's Robes. Very rare clothing, resistance to fire and cold. Watery rejuvenation. If the wearer is standing in a water surface at the start of their turn, they heal one to four hit points and you can create or destroy water plus AC of plus one. Nice. 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 Fucking nice. Hang on, everybody needs a turn. Just a second here. 
Hang on. Oh, it shows off her burning chest! Blue and red go pretty well together, too. Better than I thought they would. Next! You have such smooth legs. That looks so good on you. <laughs> wow. Damn. Journal updated gather your allies. Stop trying to distract me, game. I'm enjoying myself right now. You look so much less like Shadowheart without all the heavy armor on that I've gotten used to. It suits you. I mean, it's an incredible dress and you're an incredible person, but you look so much less like Shadowheart with that on. Hell yes. What do I get for my current armor? Do I even care about it? You gain Cat's Grace and increase your dex, so it's giving me plus an extra AC. Um, I'll have the same AC, 12, because this is AC 1. I gain dex on saving throws and increase jump distance. That sometimes helps. I don't think it helps enough not to do this. Oh, but it, it so clashes with the red hat. That's rough. That's rough. I'm not sure I wear this to the fullest, given my hair and the hat and everything. Huh. Difficult choices. Difficult. Dye the hat? Oh yeah, you can dye things in this game, can't you? Forgot. In-game dialogue is a little loud. That or my old ears are just failing me equally likely. Unfortunately, I have it turned up as loud as it can get, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Audio. Master sound effect, man. Yeah, I've got voice turned and chatter separately turned up. I have the dynamic range low. I wonder if they say a high dynamic range allows for quiet whispers, loud explosions, recommended for most setups. Low dynamic range is ideal and consistent. I wish they were a little more specific, but I assume their dynamic range raises the low ones rather than bringing down the high ones. Changing it probably wouldn't help, but I could test it. But yeah, I have master volume and voice volume up as high as they go. I can turn the, um, the, actually, no, I tested that and it didn't make a difference at one point. On my mixer, I can turn up some other volumes. Okay, let's try it. That sounds louder, right? Did I test it on this game? Am I gaslighting myself? Let's turn each of these down to 75 because everything just got louder. We just want the voices to get louder. All right, tell me as we go along if this happens to sound any better. Okay. You want the dress to be the same size on wet floors on everyone else so it's trailing along behind you as you move? You know, you know down here, the bottom of the V there? If this was the same size on me as when it's sized for Minsk, you know what would be hanging out of that? Which wouldn't just be inappropriate. You saw the edging, it would be uncomfortable. If you move more than 20 feet in a turn, make a deck saver fall prone. What's up for discussion? I just, I, I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. You, you saved us, saved us all. I thought it impossible, but, but you did it. Hey. We were kept hostage you to are welcome. our families and the Steel Watch family. Oh, I already know the other half. In fact, what we need to find out now machines. is if after killing everyone Please. in the factory other than your family, if anyone has activated you. their collars they or if no we can go back and free them. Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. Hey, how do you think I found you to begin with? Your father sent me! He, he did? Oh, I think I thought they were uh, did. a couple. I knew it. My bad. I knew he would do something. Okay, we need to get back there and check. Now, now about. Take me to the, the Heapside Strand, I believe is what I want. Heapside Strand is not what I meant. Take me to Grey Harbor Docks. How did I miss reading Docks? 
Okay, the city does not appear to be under martial law yet. I think we can go in and save some people. I think, I think, I think. Um... Wait, what? Iron console. Ooh, ooh. What the fuck is going on here? Hang the hell on! You have beaten and tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. Well, that answers that question. In the worst way. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands! For gone! Now that's more like the attitude, Tubin. How did you find out it was safe to do this? Or are you saying, fuck our families, let's go? What brought this on? All right, how much do we have here? We got two enemies in the fight at the moment. Oh my God, we did get a benefit. No one else is alive. I bet they would have been part of the fight. It's just <laughs> these two now who came and were like, oh, that's weird. We'll have to hire some more people. Anyway, you and I need to have a bit of a chat, Gondian. It's just these two. Remember Minsk. Quiet battle cries only. Hang on. I already uh hid, so we should take the chance at a sneak you attack first. Or sweaty embrace. Minsk has you now. We've got guiding bolt on them, so we can still do another sneak attack. The saved versus guided bolt. No worries. Regular roll, threat ambusher. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Alright, um, come over here so you're not in the way of the door in case of movement difficulties, you know. They have the screen he probably saw, or not because he's blind, never mind. Now to get a different set of friendly NPCs killed. First time in the foundry, the blind guy Misty stepped into his friend's grease, fell on it, and then another of his friends set it on fire and killed him. I never did anything like that, so I'm looking way better by the moment. Alright, the Kendall poor Minsk. Definitely louder, appreciate you. Good, I'm glad it worked out. If it ends up too loud at any point, Samantha let me know, but I'll just leave it here now then. Good, 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 excellent, excellent, excellent. Passives, you have all in on. Go kill her. Motivation sequence activated. All Sassadero, they need a. No, 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 don't worry about that. <laughs> Forgot about that half of the spell. Oh my god, he's like six foot two now. Incredible. How much health you got? You got 60. Don't know. How much health you got? Shadowheart, you should be able to get to that thing and shut it off, right? I'll move closer, but I don't think I can do it. Seeing as I use my action. Disintegrates are satisfying. Disintegrates are so satisfying. So satisfying. Alright, with a jump, can you do this? Looks like you should be able to. Guess what, Tubin? I'm not the object of your hatred anymore. Prison exploded, but I got everyone out. But the prison exploded, but I got everyone out. I even got this book, haven't read it yet. Anyway, the prison exploded, but I got everyone out. My heart. I thought her lost. Imagine how I felt. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. How 
our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Oh, take your collars off and leave. I know how to do this. Oh, fine, okay, agreed. Let's finish this. I'm afraid he'll just stand here and be like, okay, come talk to me when you're ready. Fine. But remember, I knew the code and could have done this. My fellow Gondians, flee this prison. I don't even like books, but you know, that's just my style, bro. I don't believe, even if they're not my thing, in book drowning. He's gonna follow me now? Cool. Do you all want to, like, leave now? Because you're just standing around. These boots have seen everything. It's okay, these boots were made for seeing everything. That's just what they'll do. Um, real quick. They didn't have any, like, good loot before, but we'll just quickly check them. You're welcome. Long Strider, knock out the guys in the back right side. Really sad note in his pocket. Uh, really sad. Are you talking about one of the guards here in the foundry? I remember finding a few sad notes in various people's pockets, but fuck them. Oh, you found the boots of perception. Nice. Here we go. I really wish I'd figured out what this table was for before we blew this place up. I'm gonna click it once with Tubin with me, just in case, but... I don't know, I've never seen something where just using something with somebody hanging around near you changed what it could do. I wish I'd figured out what the fuck this did. Never even knew that table was there. I'm not even clear if it's like a special thing where you can get a unique item out of this place if you figure out how to use it. Or if that's just like a regular crafting table and they've been available in every city I've been to and I've just never noticed one. It's impossible to tell. But I sure don't know what it is. Do you wanna know? No, not, not yet. Let's wait until I blow this place sky high at the very least, but maybe that'll be part of our end game discussion too. He's not with me. Oh, there he is. He just left my party. The Neurositor. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the Steel Watchers, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the Steel Watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? I am. And I assume there will be time to escape, given you had me follow you all the way down here. What are you going to do? Like the foundry, the Neurositor's exterior is near impossible to penetrate. However, its inner circuitry is highly unstable. I'm going to rain fire upon it from the inside out. After credits and 12 more in-game hours, you can suddenly come out with, oh, hey, remember that table? All right, let me just blow this up and then we can talk about it. You can always be mystery left to the second playthrough since you were considering it. True. I think it'll only be 12. Have you done Shadow Hearts quest yet? No, I have not yet. I'm up to the point where I need to find the Sharon cultists here in the city and I haven't done that yet. Do it. Gond, let your hammer be my courage, your furnace my heart. You know, this gives me a lot of freedom to run. You'd think it'd be harder, but it's way easier. It doesn't look like Tubin came with us. Oh, thank Blessed Gond. Just couldn't see and him with a low angle of the camera, I guess. Behind us. The sound is as sweet as a well-oiled cog. 
Yet we paid the price in blood. So few of us remain. Gon's name will soon fade into the annals of history. Okay, but I saved as many as I could. I must leave now. People are really focused on themselves and their tragedies. I miss out on a lot of congratulations I feel I deserve in these moments. It treats you better than it did us. Mission complete. Close forever. Nice. Nice. Catastrophic structural failure. Karlak is inspired. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. Save the Gondians, avenge the drowned. Oh, so good. Retrieve a Meluim, find him at the Society of Brilliance. The Grand Duke is now back at, um, camp. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay, I did write it down somewhere. Grand Duke Ravenguard is grateful for us saving him from the Absolute's clutches. He will stand by our side in the final battle. I think a trip to camp's in order. Menu is the hardest boss for me, usually. Yeah. Yena, how are you do? What in the hell? Another letter from Orin. Thanks to you, the tyrant's iron throne lies broken beneath the bay, and the prisoners it held are nothing but blood in the foam. Fishermen will be finding succulent morsels of gnome flesh to decorate their dishes for years to come. You sow the seeds of chaos well. How the sheep bleat to watch their gilded guardians crash to the cobbles. They tremble to see the lordling's temple of tyranny crumble atop their corpses. You like alliteration too much. The time is now. Without his mindless mannequins, Gortash is weak. Kill him, kill him, kill it, kill him, kill him! The rest of the page is filled with the same scrawled instruction written in increasingly illegible script. At the bottom, a signature in blood, Orin. How legible is that? Because you say it's at the bottom. Was she like, kill, 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 kill. Orin. Or, over the eye. All right, pomegranates. Was that table unique? Was it for making some unique item? She seems sound of mine. Yes? Cool. I saved everybody's life. I did it in a weird order, and it may have taken a lot of time, but I still did incredibly. I, I don't even want the unique item. I have a book, because maybe you didn't remember, but I looted down in the Iron Throne. I have this book, which looks like it's on how to operate the now defunct Iron Throne. You want to know what it is? Pomegranates, what is it? Orders from Lord Gortash. As the Steel Watch project approaches quota fulfillment and completion, preparations should be started for uh, expected retooling of the foundry and complete shutdown of the Iron Throne. Conversion of the Iron Throne from research facility to prison was hastily executed, and substantial material in the form of technical prototypes and experiment logs remain in the side chambers. Who, who's got time for that, though? Let's get this is the book you want to get. Schedule a sweep to collect or dispose of this material to be completed by the end of the next 10 day. Shortly thereafter, the Gondian hostages will have reached the end of their usefulness, so prepare to dispose of them as well. Rives. Alright, let's just drop that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Where, oh where, is our other friend? Hey, Volo. Where, oh where? You don't have anything new to say, do you, Volo? At the moment. Whatever happens next, be sure. Oh, hey, how are you feeling, by the way? We haven't talked since you got back to camp, have we? After our last uh, fight you were in. Ally mine, we are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Is Mazora still in your camp? Very That's impressive. a very good question. Thank you for helping, we'll go see. Aelin. 
That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. Hey, my pleasure. He had it coming. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. Where did Wet Floor get that cape, the canted one? The I'm not same. sure I can remember, but I'll look at my it in a darling, second in case you want to look it up, or it jogs my memory. One minute. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. Didn't I just but hire you in not. this city? When the time you comes followed me you that long, the foe of foes, then you had hired, now you're leaving? Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. I'm glad you're coming back. Well, I just friend. feel like you could we have told me you, you were soon. looking for just a temporary and gig when, great when combined, I wish you the best. This city will be saved. Mizora is still over there. <laughs> <laughs> what order do we talk to these people in? I'm really not sure. Let's just go from nearest to furthest. First you I forgot to look at my cave. Twain. Now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition. To think my blood flows through those veins. Oh, f go fuck Is yourself. This my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell? Only to be trapped in yours. It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me. On your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Your son sacrificed his soul to save yours. He had no choice. Will's devote his life to protecting the coast. He used his power wisely. I'm beginning to think we should have let you drown. Call on the Parasite, connect with Father and Son. Raven Guard should know the truth. I really want to shout at this guy, but the Parasite is the only one that seems like it offers a reasonable chance of success here in smoothing things over. But I really just want to yell at him. I don't want to smooth things over. Will probably wants to smooth things over. I, I hate this guy. Shitty Dad's relatable. So... I've forgotten already what the con... Wait, Will's contract was burnt up. Will's contract was burnt up. Or did he sign a new contract? I forget what that cutscene was like. But I remember... I thought she said that Ravenguard was already dead. And I assumed Will was totally free. But then, I guess maybe I should have realized when Ravenguard was alive, maybe Will's not free until Ravenguard is dead? And now I've fucked up Will's bargain? I don't know what I did. I don't know if Will still has a contract or not. You sold him to Mazora. Him equals Will's dad. Oh, well then I can yell at him because he's probably about to get demon blood in his veins or whatever bullshit he just said and then he'll know what it's fucking like. That'll help them connect and patch it up. I don't need to bring the tadpole into this. We're going to bring the tadpole into this. Connect with father and son. Raven Guard should know the truth. No, you know what? Will's story is one of the ones I don't care as much about. Fuck this guy. I'm mad at him. I'm beginning to think we should have let you drown. Fuck him. No, please. Father, let me show you. Raven Guard's tadpole clenches as your memories and Will's. Hey, we got to yell at him and him. still got that outcome. Perfect. <laughs> The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. Win-win. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. Yeah. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Raven Guard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege That's to right. Baldur's Gate. He protected he Baldur's Gate. Beyond. Now, let's talk about the your record Lord over the past few months. The perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism, and the emperor within. <laughs> Will, you spent a lot of time in camp. You, you are a valued did, member of this for party, Baldur's aren't you? Gate. I did for you. It's the truth, Ravenguard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. It's time you two made up. We got a city to save. Bet you feel like a real bastard right about now. I do. And I should. My son. 
You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. We don't need the tadpole. Fuck it, we need the tadpole. Full send on shouting. Let's go. to the hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but my duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Well, let's talk later. No, go on. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Mizora must be Returning sick into her mouth over there at the moment. They're hearing the all this, by the way. The absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair. Because the city has a secret guardian. A worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This <sighs> is such a time. You've maybe been trained in the ways of the maybe it would have talked to me if I went to go to find that worm. But I was 100% certain Will's quest call. was to go kill that you dragon. Seek him out. Were there any hints it was supposed to help when I first read about it? I could have really fucked that up. A worm? You're saying there's a dragon living under the city. The same city which had the hag's lair was sizable. Cazador had an entire, like, fucking... All those fit under this city. Okay. All right. Sure. It puts Minecraft to shame. Anything I've made, at least. A bronze dragon. Yes. Oh, third place. He sleeps beneath us even now. Awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Answer. The waiting There's storm. still time. Fucking it up since not the table. of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now. The Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened. We've the got, it sounds like, a lot of people on our side for the final battle from all sorts of places. We're basically going to have the player's handbook and, like, half the monster Legend manual on our side. Baldurin could really pick a spot, couldn't he? <laughs> Dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Remember, the three L's of property are location, location, lizard. Open parentheses, giant. Open second parentheses, dragon. Close parentheses, close parentheses. Your faith in Will is well-founded. We'll seek the worm and ask for his help. Will, what do you make of this? Please, you're just taking the city's fortune on a future on a fairy tale. Let the dragon sleep. We'll do with the absolute on our own terms. Will, what do you make of this? Baldur's Gate stands on the brink of the abyss. My father was clear. We awaken the worm and take back the city. Will... You are more valorous than Baldur and himself. May the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravengard. Pride the thing he still Baldur's approves of Gate. most is following his instructions. But there was some development there. You think your monster manual is only missing a vampire spawn? So is Worm, Dragon, and D&D speak? I think they are interchangeable. It might mean a specific kind or something, but I think they are interchangeable. Let's go talk to Will now. Then we'll talk to Mizora. Why am I going around that way? We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. O Baldurin, founder due veneration. His guardian dragon, Ansur, tremendous in worth. A savior below our eternal elation. Is that the original poem? 
And I said aloud, I was 100% certain we were going to fight the dragon. That makes it pretty hard to claim I misspoke. It's not just a tale. It's a history. I think I can Consider manage, this. Though. People have low to expectations. Worm wing prison's deepest level. That must mean Worm's rock prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this worm. I just way. got out of a prison. Then this. Man. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches are light, and Worm's eye shall awake a glitter. To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Ansor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Did dead Will chosen say this to me? City. Never mind. Because I know we had most of that conversation before. Oh, reunited with your father. How's it feel? It's complicated. I bet. There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. I never know how to deal with emotion. Often, what I feel is anger, which can be hard to deal with. And I usually deal with it by casting or twin casting Disintegration Ray. Um, I hope that helps. Hey, focus on the relief. Finally, your father knows the truth. Relief? My last seven years have been defined by the secrets I carried. I feel light as a feather now that I've shed them. When I left the city, my father saw only a boy carrying the stench of the hells. Now, he sees the man I'm made of myself. Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell. Anger is usually just covering another emotion. Fear that I'm going to lose the combat. You're right. You can't just disintegrate all of your problems. I mean, you sometimes get a bad dice roll, but it's had a good hit rate so far. All right, Mizora, how do you feel about all this? I bet you're pleased with yourself. Saving Ravenguard and making a fool out of me in a single swoop. That's all I could have hoped for. Go on, you could have stuck around to eat a disintegration ray, actually. That would have made it better. Damn right I did. My father is safe and my chains are broken. I'll let him have this one, but... <laughs> it's a trick. It's got to be. A bargain's a bargain, right? I'm just relieved that Grand Duke Ravenguard is all right. You're such a loser, Missouri. You broke a contract and got nothing out of it. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, celebrate your fortunes. But remember that they are lost as quickly as they are gained. Oh, I uh, yeah, won't now, forget. Now I'm going to invite Karlak over here to crush you. But all it takes is a whisper for me to tip them back. Detect thoughts. I get that guidance from Oh, Shadowheart's near enough for it, because we are near her camp. Interesting. We're part of the camp. Raven Guard will fall. I will strike when the Duke has the most to lose. And I have the most to gain. I know you'll come for him. Try it, and I'll save him again and kill you while I'm at it. Clause A, Section 2. Should Soul Holder choose to abandon his patron, he is freed from his duty. His father, Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard, will be thus fated to die by an enemy's hand. A sealed pact is mightier than even Asmodeus's ruby rod. Do you think by merely saving a duke that you were ripping it through? You're such a witless little thing. How oh dare Laugh you. Laugh in the face of the Archduchess Zariel. And she only laughs back. By all means, struggle and see when I come for Zariel's prize. Play the hero. Put up a fight. 
that. She seems but to be don't confident. forget who signed away his own father's life. I hope she's confident. Because one thing I considered when I clicked the making fun of her thing was, was I, I think she's gonna stick around. Oh, 75 health. Can I attack her here? Is this possible? I'll just take a step back here. I'm sure this isn't allowed. It is allowed. Wait, Zariel's protection. I didn't read that. When attacked, Mazora will disappear to the hells and return after a minute. Oh, so I can just take out frustrations. I'll do this several times before it gets old. No, I'll move on. I'll do it one more time. Alright, what else is up? Is there anything else I need to do in camp? I don't think there was, really. Right? No, I came here mainly because I knew I needed to talk to Raven Guard, and then we had a couple other conversations. I've achieved that. One of my quest log mentioned that I will most likely see Orin again when I sleep because she likes stealing into my camp. With the steel wash destroyed and Gortash vulnerable, Orin left us a message with a clear directive, kill Gortash. Oh, actually this says she seems to enjoy infiltrating our camp, leaving messages. I assumed because I read this and went, yeah, that's not the one I was looking for at the time. I would need to rest and she would, you know, join me. Did this do anything for... Did this do anything for, um... Okay. We still have the chance, it seems like, to get Karlak to confront Gortash for her quest. It's not, not gonna... Maybe the combat will count as that confrontation, or it's not gonna drop immediately into combat. One of the two. One of the two. Take me out of camp. New way to control emotions achieved. The cape. I'm so sorry for forgetting. Thank you for reminding me. This is the Cloak of Displacement, and I don't remember where I got it. Pomegranates, Samantha, do any of you remember where I got the Cloak of Displacement? This jaunty angle cut number. Does anyone happen to remember details like that? So we have Gortash Dragon, Orin, maybe a free Orpheus, and still 5,000 other things. Yep. Yep. You fucked Steel Watch. I actually wasn't sure if all the ones here would die out. I guess the roster, of course, means they have to. Good for us. Good for us. Delightful, delightful. Okay, now what? Let's go talk to Ameluum. Society of Brilliance Lodge. I got a flyer for them once, didn't I? He's right up here. But I don't know anything about them, really. Just reorder. I should probably go up. You can buy it Dandelion's Dancing Axe. Thank you. It's in a magic school store. It's a merchant that helps the Harpers, the one who sells it. Got it. Okay, so that would be an act two. The Harper base. Thank you, Samantha. Well, I thought there was a chance that as soon as I signaled my clear intentions to attack Gortash by doing something like taking out the watch or even just the prison, the entire city would become martial law because Gortash, having lost his steel watch, would still send the iron uh, flaming fist out to, to impose it. But we're good. Seemingly. My greatest fear is averted. Hello. Hello. I am expected, I believe. Do you know an Omeluum? Oh, hello. Dr. Morkum. Can you answer my questions? 
Perception failed. Well met. I am the society's leading expert on myconid spore telepathy. But I, I've had to delay him. Oh, it's Worms Crossing. It's Act 3. Oh, Honor shit. My bad. Spores, Act 3 traitor. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I assumed you. Yeah. You Act 3. Them, those myconid spores uh, don't feel. I remember the shop. You mean that dwarf. Where they hold their meetings. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have inhaled them all so quickly. Okay. I've missed a little bit of this, but all right. At the start, I was like, "Oh, I know where you can find more." I don't think you should get Sleep more. With I'm one not gonna tell him about the entrances to the Underdark. I found both. You failed perception. What are we all failing to perceive here? Uh, whatever. No one back home will ever believe this. Yes. Adopt the illusory appearance of someone else. You, for example. That was Omelium saying, I've adopted the illusory appearance of someone else. The stuffed bear? There's nothing. A young cave bear. No. Killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. I had a lot of confidence in myself Seems that like time. a good moment to talk. Ah, a surface dweller. You find yourself in the cradle of all knowledge relating to the Underdark. Oh, so that guy knows the his way to the Underdark to get those mushrooms. Sure, sure, sure. Tell me, what can the society do for you? I met an expeditioner claiming to work for you. She sought to get the Yankee egg. Wh oh. Uh... Lazel's not with us. Do you think she'll check the stock of Githyanki eggs? I'd forgotten all about that. I carry an unhashed Githyanki egg. Would you be interested in studying it? A Githyanki egg? What a fortuitous turn of events. I've been attempting to get my hands on one for some time now. Would you consider parting with it? The society's coffers are deep enough to cover any expenses accrued in its retrieval, of course. Can I ask you what you're gonna, yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Study it, of course. The Githyanki have been a source of great debate in the society circles in recent months. You are no doubt aware that citizens of the Underdark are held in great suspicion by those who live above ground. Did we kill that lady? Believe us to be I don't remember that lady, so I don't the know. The Yankee face Do you know Samantha? Prejudice. Yeah, poach it, of course. That's the answer I was worried about. Maybe they're like violent, some... More intellectually some, oh? stimulating environment. The child can overcome its evil predispositions. You're letting your personal biases affect your method. Why assume they're evil? I assume nothing. Innate Githyanki cruelty is an established fact. No doubt you witnessed it yourself in the retrieval of the egg itself. I've witnessed it during a few rounds when of combat, but it came in a lot of handy, and I think that's just stuff. the one I know. I will, however, prove that the effects of their biological inclination are reversible. Once out of the shell, I plan to take a twofold approach. The enforced repetition of sound moral principle from the Paterian Code alongside a series You're gonna play of back tapes for them? Administered to the you're inventing the baby Einstein and you're starting with racism. I can accelerate its growth. I should have conclusive findings within How are you gonna make this work? There aren't even the TVs most. for you to put infomercials on. You're playing to torture a child for a year. The child will be a better individual after my treatment than it ever would have been had it been raised in they its just natural racist? They environment. Are. Also, your reminder, you need to make a Any short of the interaction where you disprove all her beliefs. Will therefore be that I designed was dwarf's robe is for dope. The child? Perhaps Lovingly for the cruel. Of Damn, he's got a whole PowerPoint society. about it. My Brain shocks. findings could change the perception of residential Yankee schools turned out great. This should work, right? For generations to come. Cast fireball, right? I'm I'm not sure how I feel about Ameliuum now, but maybe this guy's just an extremist. But to say everyone, well, people must have heard him talk about shit like this before. No benefit could justify you inflicting such cruelty. 
Rigorous experimental methods demand we do not indulge our emotional responses in the application of discomfort to our subjects. Okay, Only but my emotional responses are to indulge in inflicting disintegration rate of people like you. So. stimuli will we have the true measure of whether the child's innate evil has been cured. Now, I'm eager to get started. So will you sell me the egg? You can attack him. Is this a bad idea? Attack. I now have an irrational fear of deep water. I now have an irrational fear of deep water. I clicked attack as well. What happened? Well, let's give me a chance to shut the door real quick. Oh, good fight. I actually can't disintegrate him right now, unless I use a scroll. But I can blight him. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. There's two more upstairs. There's a guard in the street. Come on, I was so surprised how few enemies we drew for our fights in other houses. I thought this would be easy. What could I do? Yeah, temporarily hostile, temporarily hostile. I could knock them all out. It would take a little while. Let me do a couple rounds and see how long this feels like it's going to take. But the thing is, I might have to reload anyway, because I don't know which one of them is a Meluum. And I don't know if he'll still be friendly to me ever. I don't know. There's a lot I don't know. This feels like something I shouldn't have done. Anyway, here we are. So can I get you low so you can be knocked out? You're the one who can die, actually. So let's just spend my turn attacking you. Because you... Well, like I just said, you, you can die. I don't care. It'll only be used once per turn. And you haven't used it yet. You haven't used it yet, though. I just used the, like, Dread Gloomstalker thing, or whatever it's called, didn't I? Okay. And then weaken one of these ones to get knocked out. Only the last hit has to be non-lethal, Samantha. Only the last hit. Come over here in the sunlight and hide. It works. Fuck yes. Alright, you're the one who really knocks people out. I have 99% anyway. Oh, you got a bull. You already have advantage, of course. Need to learn the hard way. Knocked out. I don't have my bonus attack from Great Weapon. Hmm. Well, so Damn. much for peace. From the stairs. Light on my feet. Just a little blight, bro. <laughs> what are you so mad about? Just a game, bro. Calm down, bro. It's just some blight, bro. <laughs> Vicious mockery. Do you see the dress I'm wearing? What could you mock about this? Psionic dominance. Yeah, wet floor is snatched. You got nothing. There's nothing you can say. I'm worried about these guards. We're just gonna try knocking them out as well. Oh, wait, Ameluan. Temporarily hostile. Okay. He's got a lot. Of, no, he said it doesn't have a lot more health. Which one of you had 111? Oh, it's Minsk. I accidentally bounced over. We can knock out Ameluan too and see what happens. Oh, please. You had to wild shape spider, you fuck. I've avoided that this whole fucking game. You're a dick. 
Alright, who's our next knockout? I can knock you out and take you off the roster. Right? No mercy. Down to two. Do and don't divine strike them. Spend a charge to knock them out. Don't divine strike them, satisfying though it would be. Stand here and block the stairs, I guess. Minsk. Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. You can... I can't do anything that special. Um, okay. Melee it is. Knock our friend out. Do I rage? You've got five charges per short rest. We rage. We've got two members of the Flaming Fist joining us at the least. We rage. You do, can't understand. You, you got no idea what even happened down here, Amelium. There was a racist, okay? You can't possibly understand. Pain control incapacitated. When was she incapacitated? What the fuck are you talking about? Can't get past you. Can come over here, but there's too many bodies in the way. Um, there's someone at the top of the stairs, right? Yeah. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Enter. Legit therapist, so if we need to talk down a panic attack after the spider, just let me know. I'll be okay, but thank you. I appreciate that. They rolled a 21. Go ahead and guess who. You still landed the ensnaring. Oh, you are just a delight. Who can I hit? I'm gonna come over here and hit Fist and Ice for some damage without killing them. Time for some bloody work. And break your concentration even better. And turn. Cast Blight on Shadowheart. Blight is a level 4 spell, level 4 counter spell. Failed. No worries. Ah. Have you seen Wet Floor's inventory? He's got bribery for days to win a melium back over. Fortunately, we're trying to go non-lethal, so you can counter the wild-shaped spider with a large glass and a piece of paper. <laughs> I've not been looting those things. I didn't think they were useful. Oh, shit. All right, are they ever gonna come down here? Or do we need to go up to them? I think we're gonna have to go up to them. Have to keep going. Not enough moving to get there. A. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> That's dumb. If you go this far, can you see him at least enough to radiant him? No, not enough moving to do that. Should have had you radiant one of them before you uh, moved up here, but I made my choices. Um, go ahead and just cure wounds on yourself. Level one is fine. Take two. Level one's not that good, but whatever. It's like it's like one to eight, anyways, isn't it? Uh, should Minsk go join her, or should Minsk take them down? We should try to avoid what happened with her and use his attacks now. And then go upstairs. So, switch to your ranged weapon. And deal some weakening damage to the two of these enemies, please. Oh. My mouse moved and I thought I'd just ruined that guy. Didn't even make sense how much damage I had done to him. Alright, go upstairs now. Die in silence, Evo! Ready for another round. Carl, like MVP of these battles. Help me out. MVP of knockouts. Eat it. Is it a free action to shut the door? I don't 
think anyone will notice. Onward! Still on my feet. These boots have seen everything. Like, how dare you? That's not cool, bro. You don't blight someone's blight, okay? I already called it. I called that spell. You need you need a different spell. I called that one. I'll show you how much I know how to blight. I have another fucking blight. Another for your side. I know I haven't hit you yet. What did I just fucking tell you about? I need healing. Damn. We'll go down soon. He and the spider are the last ones remaining. Honestly, this spider is not that bad. I don't like that you can see its eyes, but I'll be all right. It's, it's behaving a bit weirdly, but mm, whatever. Uh, what are the odds of you knocking this guy out this turn? <laughs> pretty low. They're pretty low. Okay, Minsk. Spider's looking that way? Spider's looking that way. It only has 20? Oh, it only has 20 before it turns back, right? I think that's how it works, but just because I'm the tiniest bit uncertain, you're gonna stealth up and melee it since melee can be non-lethal. The hamster naps the action starts. Just because I'm a little uncertain. There we go. That's correct. And back up a bit. They don't have an attack of opportunity on you. Heating up. I've got it. I think she has to attack someone or she can lose rage, right? Not enough movement, not enough movement. Oh, but she can do a ranged attack. Oh, here we go. She can reach. She's good. Poor fucker. Never a dull moment. Breathe deep and move. 55 out of 60. Yeah, we can just do with our old spell. That isn't too powerful and get you closer to the point of being knocked out without risk. You guys have gotten to cast so many blights. Mm -hmm. On my way. Well, you're going down next turn. 30, the maximum your radiant can do is 24, so just don't crit. I mean, you can't crit, it's a saving throw thing. And it's you, anyway. Who says smite? That means I must hit you very hard, I think. All right, Karlak. It's go time. Good shit. Good shit. Now then. Let's steal only from the I one we feet. killed. And the cops. And, um... Long rest? I've thrown water on someone knocked unconscious and it didn't wake them up. I think I'll have to, like, long rest or something. Oh, shit. He was holding out 70 gold in that deal. Have Kalag's key. Pterian code. Yeah, fuck off. It's written by him. Quarterstaff plus two. I don't even want it. I don't even want your quarterstaff. So, does a short rest do anything? I don't have any short rest left. Let's quick save now and try a long rest and see if everybody's back on good terms with me after that. Long rest. Surely Ameluum will forgive us. Surely. I saved Ameluum's life. What would it mean if they wouldn't forgive us? What's this? Okay, it's gone. That's good. That was weird. Do you do that every night? 
Do you glow like that? Hmm. Quick shot at Mizora, and then we'll get in bed. Night, everyone. Seems simple enough. What's your plan if no? I have a save from before. I can do that. That was the plan. To just not sell the guy the egg, but leave him alive. Maybe hope there's a way to fuck with him later. And then do the deal with Omeluum. Do the deal. Talk with Omeluum. I'm not sure there's like a deal to be made here. You can't. How y'all feel about me here? Must remember, I'm it's jealous of birds in the back of the throat. Okay. It only said like approval minus 45 or something, not even like, oh, 100. Because that, that seemed very extreme. I've left them with quite a cleanup. Look at all the blood still around here. But I have to imagine none of them really like that guy. It seems like there isn't a quest marked here anymore. Where did Omeluum go? Quest doesn't say I've failed it. I should speak up. This individual doesn't seem particularly fond of you. Perhaps a gift would improve their sentiment. He's hiding from you? I thought he said he'd turned into a, like, a person. I think I have just the thing to make this right again. Your offer appears to be of interest. Let's make it a good one. Imagine giving her the egg now. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I see what's going on. How do you feel about rings? Trader will be pleased with this offer. Farther? Yeah. That made the tiniest change. What if you had a new necklace for every day of the 10-day week? Um... Hang on. Rings count too. What if? Harder. I only killed one. What about a pizza? This game's just unrealistic. I only killed one and concuss five. Hey, considering I could have killed all of them, they should look on the bright side like that. Yeah. Yes, they should. What would Omeluum want to become, or where would Omeluum hide here? Salmon. I can't interact with these. The interaction is stealing, unless it's a book. Or wherever he is, there's some unique interaction. Delverden, I remember knocking you out. So you're not the one who may be hidden. I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to decide if Ameliuum is like invisible, if Ameliuum's transformed into something, or if Ameliuum is transformed into one of them, hiding as one of them. I didn't see where he started the encounter when um, he turned hostile. That's the problem. I really want this racist to stay dead. That's why I'm still continuing down this road, by the way. I can see through invisibility if it's as simple as that. Let's look through some places. A note of thanks, read. To our esteemed colleague of the society, your invitation to present a work of the Lodge gratefully received for response to be forthcoming. Um, consult my colleague, Omeluum. In the meantime, please consider this note a tentative acceptance. With thanks for your interest, I look forward to speaking in person soon. Blurg. Blurg was the orc along with the Momeluum, right? Has to be. Not for communal use, it seems. Sorry. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Didn't know you were there. Um, if I could just... And give you some time to walk away. 
Oh god, there's blood everywhere. He was a super racist, though. He was. A complete super racist. Is this the chest? All right. I got a key Time from Parkvalag. I don't mind stealing more from that guy. Apparently that was it. Havkalag, excuse me. Apparently that was it. Purple dies. Is in this camp? Okay. But this is not where my friend is hanging out. The only hints they gave me were said outside of a conversation just aloud, and I thought I heard them pretty clearly. Most of them. But maybe I'm Breathe confused about this. And move. Pomegranates. Does anyone know, is Omeluum disguised as one of the people here? Or did I get that wrong? What's up for discussion? I'm compiling a translation dictionary so warring species of the Undone can understand each other. It's an essential step forward. But they're not Omeluum, seemingly. In combat, he was not disguised, but I have no clue. Maybe I should just slowly reload. We spent so long on other things. Why spend so long on this? Get the satisfaction of killing the racist. We're sure not selling him the egg if I reload. He is not, but you're unsure. Okay. It seems like he's... No, that's someone else talking. Seems like I haven't gone over there. Is that part of the society? How do you get down there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me check that out first. And then I'll just reload and talk to Omeluum. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can it be bad? Is this action move? Can I move one of these? Lie, attack, examine. Lie, attack, examine. Um, It's right underneath me here. Quick, everybody into the room. Let's see. It's right underneath me here. Carlax, like start throwing the furniture around. Sorry? Yes, my friend. Oh, leave. I'm not gonna steal anything, but I just need to throw some of your belongings around. Does that upset people? Another step forward. Mm. I'd love to, thanks. No. No, not allowed. That can be moved. I think that bed's racist. Smash it to bits, Carlac! Oh my god. Alright, I'm just reloading. I can't work it out. I'm actually I may still have to work out how to get down into that room. Whatever. My last save will be after my long rest, won't it? I don't think we're loading when I hit quick load after the encounter with them. Wonder if the person mad at you was important? Maybe? It was weird that one of the other ones talked to me. It was very weird. Okay, did I load the wrong save? I sure as shit did. I sure as shit did. That's after they all went down. This is right before I started the fight. Let's do this again without the fight this time. Or we do the fight after Omeluum. I don't think I have the patience for that. In an alternate timeline, far across the multiverse, a marginally more restrained wet floor continues on their quest at a better pace. Playing alongside you and just had seven critical misses in one fight. I'm in pain. I am so sorry. Don't buy a lottery ticket? I was debating whether to say don't or do. First of all, just don't. But, I mean, the odds of that happening are as be on my way. the same as odds of critting seven times. So, like... Depending on how luck works, if it's just extreme things, not necessarily good ones, but you can go back and forth. Hey, there you are, just standing there. I should speak up. 
That's easy. It is pleasurable to see you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I didn't even know you were there. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravenguard. That you also saved me was unexpected. Never have left you behind. I rather like you. Why were you down there in the first place? Hard for you to reward me from the bottom of the ocean. I had no idea expectations of me were so low. Why were you down there in the first place? My meeting with you led me to a most unsettling conclusion. That my kind had begun to exert influence through this cult of the absolute. I felt... Illithid interference would not be conducive to this plane's survival. I sought out other infected individuals to ascertain the truth of my hypothesis. Unfortunately, I strayed to... I'm not clear if he's talking about the Absolute captured. enforcing its I own will or just the what they're doing using the Absolute me. to control people. There, I saw Gortash and his followers inflict cruelties far beyond any I witnessed in the Underdark. I am grateful that you were spared such a merciless fate. You know, gratitude won't keep a roof over my head, so... I understand my gratitude has limited use. You desire more practical compensation for your troubles. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. Yeah? We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Okay. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the Society's books. Nice. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. We receive a bag of five items. We visited Omelium in the Lodge. It rewarded us for our aid in escaping the Iron Throne. Potion of Supreme Healing. Cool. I'll just rank it. I thought it would be like looting. It was not like reading. This is already in my. You get it. Who's the scrolls of Dimension Door? Is it not me? I wanted to stack them. I don't care. Wizard's Bane Oil. That goes to you, just because that's where I always think of them being. This goes here. Fungal Bamboozler. Lob this to uh, Throne Things go to you, because that's where I think of them being. So, time to reload. I'll be fine without one Supreme. I mean, it was a Supreme. How many of them have I got? I have nine. It would look real good if that was ten. We'll get another one. We'll get another one. We'll get another one. It's fine. I was hoping for those to be a bit better. Maybe they could go try and talk the denizens of the Underdark into helping. It is what it is. Nice. Good shit. Now you just fucking watch yourself and change your ways. You don't even know okay, what other shot. versions of me have done to you. You don't even goddamn know. I'm leaving their door open. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, I remember. I don't know where to go for that, but I remember. Yeah, well, overall, what do we have right now? There's obviously the Elder Brain, Gortash, Orin. There is... Raphael and Kithric Voss and Orpheus. We're all tied together along with the Emperor in the Orpheus half of that stuff. There's Oscar. I remember Oscar. I paid to free him, and he didn't reward me at the time or anything. I'm curious to know where he is, but... I don't care too much about this quest, but I hope we can just find him at some point. I really want to know what the fuck comes of this, mainly because I want to know more about the person who runs the circus, but I don't know where to go looking for this. 
Hopefully, if we go back to the refugees outside the gates, which is where I think that quest takes place in that whole area, Worms Crossing, um, when we go back there for Shadow Hearts, we have another chance to find whatever part or parts we're missing. We have to find Mystic Carry and stuff. I hope I can do that. It's not make or break, but I really hope I can do that. I definitely want to do hers. I definitely want to confront Gortash, and of course I will. I definitely want to go to the Worm Way. I definitely need to save Lazel. Uh, this comes later as I kill the others. That is what remains in my quest log at the moment. That is what remains in my quest log at the moment. Be blowing in land today. It's a decent load. Dragon to the... We didn't take a long rest there. I think I'm going to take a long rest now. And unfortunately, we're going to wrap up on the slightly shorter end in tonight's stream because I need to get up at 6 a.m. or just before 6 for work tomorrow. I cover something very early on Fridays. And on top of that... I'm going to an industrial metal show with a friend tomorrow night. It'll be nice to have a little energy. So let's get a long rest in so I don't have to do it at the start of the next stream. Thank you all for hanging out. Baldur's Gate 3 will return this Sunday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. The plan is also to do Baldur's Gate next Tuesday and Wednesday. That may change, but that's, that's the plan. It is looking, however, like the reason I made that plan which was to finish this game, possibly, before Dragon's Dogma 2 came out on Thursday, will not happen. So, what I think I will do is probably play Baldur's Gate 3 Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I'll play Dragon's Dogma. Maybe I'll play it Thursday and Saturday or Sunday after that. I'll give it, you know, one or two chunky streams and develop a little bit of an understanding of whether I want to play more or not. And regardless, even if I do want to play more, probably then break and come finish Baldur's Gate 3 before too much of it fades from my mind. You know, so Baldur's Gate 3 might disappear for like five days and then come back. But I will almost certainly come back to this before replacing it with Dragon's Dogma or something, okay? Does that make sense? The basics one more time are, I'll be here Sunday, I'll be here next week, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we'll see what happens as we go forward. Save game. Do save. All in all, a successful night, and having left the stress behind of the Iron Throne, I did quite enjoy that. That is a fun encounter. I bet that is torture if you really, really, really don't want to load again. I bet it's a delightful challenge if you're the kind of person who wants to play Honor Mode, enjoys that, and know you can't reload. In the middle, if you are willing to reload, and you don't mind spending the time to do it a few times because you want to do it perfect, or you don't mind it not being quite perfect, I think that was very, very cool. I really like that part of the game. That is excellent. Very successful night. YouTube content popping off. Thanks for being here, Starfish. Makes sense. GG's in the Iron Throne. Thank you so much. Night, Night Orient Dish, Night Hatter. I'll say goodnight to the cats for you, Samantha. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here. Give me a second to see who else is live on Twitch right now. It always feels better to send over a small crowd in a raid. So I'd appreciate it if you hung out long enough to at least go say, Felity's on! Go say hello. Felity is hilarious. She's, I find her endlessly entertaining, and she's just got a chill stream to hang out in. She's been going two hours, but it looks like she's in a match, so she can't be ending soon. Please, 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 stick around long enough to go spam the raid message, say hello to Felony. If you've got time, hang out, check out her stream. You might just enjoy yourself. Let me see here, slash raid. I didn't type the slash. Felony. Here is the link in case Twitch screws you and doesn't bring you along. And for those of you on YouTube, and let me give you the raid message to spam. I was asked to copy this message, so I did. Hello, smile. There we are. Copy and paste that once or twice when we get over there. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your night, day, whatever it is. I hope I see you on Sunday or next week or something. Let's all keep our fingers crossed. Dragon's Dogma 2 is fantastic next week. I have very, very mixed feelings about the first game. On the whole, I ended up disliking it, but they've made a lot of changes to 2, and there were some brilliance in 1. I think next week's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, and we got a special event coming up very early April. I will start telling you details about that soon, because it's going to come up faster than I think, certainly. But it's gonna, probably going to be the first Saturday of April, which is like a week into April, to celebrate the stream anniversary. Something to look forward to. Okay, away we go!